Welcome back to the Shady Harbor with me, Little Fox. We are getting back into Elder Scrolls Online, which I've been playing for the longest time. You're probably all bored of this by now. Who cares? I enjoy this game. Y'all are awesome, but YOLO. We have a pigeon in the chat. Ooh, wait, pigeon dente. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What is... What is... Uh, how do I do this? Hold on a second, I need to look at this. Aha! Uh -huh. I need to make sure I don't misspell this. Wait. Go away. Start. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Answers in Genesis is a uh, fundamentalist. Uh, Here we go. Now we have more diamonds in chat. Diamonds in chat. Diamonds in chat. And I have audio. Woo! All right. All right. Phew! Welcome back. Ugh. So, um, actually, I just noticed something. Uh, I just remembered something as well. Uh, quickly, just want to bring it, pull it up. I can find it. No, it's not on here. Oh, I sent it on, um... I have a friend who sends me the juiciest of tweets. Um... I just, I just, I just, just want your opinion on this, right? Doge. Doge, doge. Yes. Right, I love how in Jake, alright, so we're, we're, we're here. Oh, who's this? Who is this that I've got on my screen? Uh-oh. It's Queen Turf herself. I just love how, uh, love how, um, she's got, uh, writers sometimes known as Robert Galbraith in her name. Like, full-on dog whistling in front of everyone. Like, it's amazing. Um, where is the one that I was looking for? I disavow. Um... Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. I wonder if she's deleted the tweet because this is a incredible hate tweet. Oh, here we go. Deeply amused by those who telling me I've lost their admiration due to the disrespect I show violent, duplicitous rapists. I'm a rapist now, apparently. Um, I shall file your lost admiration carefully in the box where I keep my missing fucks. So this is an interesting, uh, an interesting tweet. Uh, like, it, it sounds familiar to me. Like, it's very, very familiar to me. I just can't quite... I can't quite put my finger on uh, where I've heard this rhetoric before, you know? Um, oh, what's this? Oh, it's 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 all of the receipts I have from the old uh, Super Straight drama. Oh, what could possibly be uh, worth looking at in amongst this shit? Well, let's have a look. Oh, here we go. We've got some conversations here. Do 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 do
I definitely need to show you that one. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I made that myself, by the way. I had all I had all of these organized into slides, a bunch of slides, telling me. Oh, here we go. I've heard this all before. So uh, I used to hang out in um, spa in some pretty nasty spaces. Um, so this is exactly she's talking exactly like these people. So so men with neo vaginas is also rape rape apologist. There are no men with neo vaginas. Your very premise rests on the idea that trans women are men. You aren't coming from a reasonable angle here. Sorry, super super straight say trans rights. Um, you will never be a woman. I got that a lot. Uh, the gift that keeps on giving. Yes. Wait, where's the other one? Um, this what I found interesting. Um, please don't provoke political arguments here. This is the only place where rad femmes and far right get along to work towards a common goal and we want to keep it that way. Oh, here we go. Uh, this one? This one's saying uh, all people, all all trans women who get uh, gen gender affirming uh, surgery is are rapists. Do you think stealthing is okay? I think people who lie about wearing a condom during sex is rape. Yes. So men with neo vaginas is also rape. Rape apologist. Um. <sighs> Oh, here we go. Here we go. Um, it is it is what um turfs call um reconstructive surgery. Basically, anyone who uh did who got surgery down there to um get to to fix or uh, to repair. Um, or, um, reconstruct a vagina is apparently a not real. They could, they, oh, um, let me show you some of the other really, really lovely things that they used to say about those things. Um, because they like to reduce, like, this is, this is, um, uh, like two or three years old now. And it used to be in, like, it used to be just rock spiders on Reddit. That used to have uh, used to talk about this shit. Um. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, this one was a good, uh, good uh, memory. Oh yeah, it's all it's all stupid. One thirty-six. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, here we go. Spent a lot of time um, on it. That's not 36. Oh, that's 36. Yeah. Do do do. What a pathetic excuse for a subhuman you are. Go 42% yourself. Is uh, that that that's um I, that this was my first one actually. This is my first uh, the first one that told me to uh, to kill myself. <sighs> ah, here we go. This is an interesting one. This is what they. This is how they talk about uh, vaginas. They call them axe wounds. They are so genuinely disgusting that I'll let you look them up for yourself. Yeah, I've got, yeah, you're gonna find shitty. You're gonna find shitty jobs. Hold on a second. But yeah. Very, very fun shit.
And then re then them realizing that they fucked up trying to delete it. Well, I mean, it's pretty clear when it comes to rape, what it is. Like... Amazing. That's it. Without formal, not informal. Or maybe you're thinking of a different word. But yeah, like, literally, that's that's JK Rowling right now. It's the same ship. It is the same ship. I've seen it before. I've seen it before, and now it's, um, you know, people with the big name saying it. So, shit's getting worse. I, I told, I... I fucking told everyone at the time that, uh, you're gonna start seeing this shit in real life. Six months down the track, Dave Chappelle uh, showed up. J.K. Rowling came out uh, as uh, full turf uh, not long after, and since then things have just been getting worse for trans people. Uh. Yeah. So good evening. Oh, rubble butt. We're going into a place called rubble butt. Rubble butt, rubble butt, rubble, rubble, rubble butt. Man, I want to go to the ladies' bathroom. Yeah, like um, when it should be, I'm Republican. That that should be the re the result. It has to be for. It has to be um. So basically um. Sex is always informed, not informal, informed, and, um, enthusiastic. Um, yeah. Just like, just like, just like the last week I was talking about how bad Empanada, um, made, uh, Keffels feel uncomfortable, and p did pressure her into that conversation that she didn't want to have. Um, she might have not have looked like it to him. Hey, she might not have looked like it to you. But she did make it clear at the time that she didn't want to, to talk, like, through DMs. Um, and it... It's... It, it's not up to you whether someone else has given you their consent. It's up to them. Always. It's up to them. I'm on, should be met with a July 18, 1918 uh, Momini? What? Was ist das? <sighs> Only what we. I am. Alright. Let's complete this. Templars. Oh, 19th. July 18th. What happened on July 18th? Wait, 1918. Hmm. All right. Let's chop our way through here. Wee! Wee! <laughs> ah. Wait, was he Republican? Oh gosh. Why the family though? Seems a bit much. Oh 
Oh yeah, yeah. But what is? Did his family suck though? You know, like if you were gonna get rid of the royals in in England, you at least Prince Harry. Come on. Wonder what price that lot might fetch. Put him on trial for war crimes, obviously. But like, ugh, that's literally not what I wanted to do. Chill build. Noise. I got executed because my arm was on the way to the house. Leaders and the. Oh, okay. Oh, so it was. Th there was actually, like, a reason for it. Uh, shitty reason, but. Wait, why couldn't they capture them? Just don't like the idea of like just killing the entire family. Something about that smacks wrong to me. I can't put my finger on why. <laughs> Definitely disavow. So they didn't have ch they didn't have time or a choice. Eh. That is really that really sucks. That really sucks. I mean, like, no matter the reasoning behind it, you can't argue with the fact that that's, that does put a stain on, um, the, uh, just, that is a stain on history. Like. That was it, right? Sometimes it's hard to tell. Whoever carried that out is going to have to take that, you know, to their grave and beyond. Yeah, I know. Still, like... It, go it all goes down back down to my views on violence. It's like, violence is always morally wrong. But sometimes it's just necessary. Um, and even if I had to defend myself or, you know, my family, and that resulted in a death, um, even if it was justified... I would still uh, carry that guilt with me um, until I died. By choice. No, yeah, fair enough. No shade against anyone else. I just think that's a very heavy responsibility to bear. Someone's already been into that one. Fair enough. Maybe someone without the uh, ESO Plus sub. This character is certainly coming together though. Pretty happy with that. Oh, that's pretty shit. You said the entire family, though. Well done. No, you said you support with the wife and the Tsar. I don't support death penalty. Unfortunately. 
It should never be, uh, de the death penalty should never be institutionalized, and um, the execution of people should be um, looked down upon always. Um, I think that's just necessary for having a cohes cohesive society that doesn't slide into, um, into um, conservatism. Well, I don't think anybody deserves death. It does. And it did. Like, destroying your own food supply in order to try and, you know, stop the revolution. Fucking hell, dudes. Kulax? Is that what I was taught? Is that was that what I was, the word for what I was referencing? Then? Oh no! Gotta go down. Never, never forget as well. Like if 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 the if former king became a normal wor worker, that king did it. The king did it through choice, which is pretty base. Oh yeah, Russia really did not have a uh, and di didn't really have a fair shake. Um. The amount of shit, the amount of things that uh, Russia had to deal with, like the the sheer size of the country as well, like we're talking supply line difficulties, the cold winters, like yeah, it would have you know like uh, my I question whether things would have worked a little bit better with more autonomy. You know what I mean? Um, a more more autonomous um, regions, I guess. But again, like I'm, I am moving way too far away from uh, my knowledge right now. I'll always ask whether less hierarchy is better. USSR was a, a, a collection of autonomous reasons, something violence is self-defense and we'll call moral. I like this these these are things that I impose upon myself and on social structures. This isn't like this is not what I impose on individual beliefs. Individual beliefs are different than they're just different. In an individual um feeling of justice and that sort of thing is going to is going to like mean a different thing than, you know, a society, how a society is run. Like, I, I just, I think that it's okay to feel angry and want justice. I just don't think that um, countries and uh, societies can exist cohesively with um, a punitive justice model, even, even for, you know, the capitalists. I just, I, th I feel like um, looking at things through the perspective of something always being too far um, means that you need to do twice as much work in order to get there. You don't want to make it easy for, um, for the death penalty to become a thing. Sort of like, I guess, uh, things like d drug use shouldn't be... It, it, we should treat things like... Through through a materialistic lens, I guess is, is is where I look at it. It's okay to have your own morals and beliefs, but 
it needs to be materialistic in nature. And I, don't, I haven't seen any any institutionalized um, death penalty which has been good for a society. Um, as in improving the quality of life for its citizens, decreasing crime, you know, do, achieving the things that it wishes to achieve. It, it just doesn't. Doesn't achieve. Doesn't achieve anything. A fraction of the families might get might be happy with it, but then again, like you know, a good portion of the families of people who um, who are affected by uh, people who are put to death, like, are not positively impacted by that. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. I don't think you're. I don't think you're wrong at all. It's just. It's my. It's my. It's. It's. Uh. It's part of my thing. Like I'll always push back against. Against um the idea of punitive justice in all its forms. Not, not to say that. Not not to say that the revolution was bad because that happened. Just to pr try and speak out against that happening again. Hmm. Oh, I don't. I don't misunderstand you at all. I don't make those assumptions. It's too easy to make those assumptions. <laughs> Terms of service is cringe. <laughs> also, it's getting it, it. It's 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 almost the end of January now, so they're already putting Easter eggs and shit in the, the shopping centers, which means my favorite, one of my favorite things in the world is is now back. During the Civil War, but in the time frame, similar to the Russian Revolution, the Russian Civil War. Yeah, and there was another Civil War after the Russian Revolution, wasn't there? During the Holodomor? Or d during that period of time, I guess, as well. Or am I, th or am I mixing up my history? I probably am. <sighs> to have the time and, like, executive function to, uh... Research all the things that I really, really want to be uh, good at referencing. During Oct is the Red October. Is that, is that, oh, is that why that that movie was called that? Yeah. Go now. We just need the house. Democrat. Oh uh, yeah, Kerensky. February Revolution. Democrat. Democrats. De Democrat. OG libs. Uh -huh. I had a bit of a chortle at that um, that fake bad empanada account, uh, Monkey Gamer. I'm just like, to my memory, like. Has has Bad Empanada ever like been a like a tanky? <laughs> like I know I'm using that word 
but like someone like is he has he really like decades where nothing happens there are weeks where decades happen Ugh, true that uh, could you what, what would Lennon say um, if he was here today and saw the how the internet functions it's, now there are moments where decades happen and weeks where uh, and weeks where uh, you know thousands of years don't uh, thousands of years don't happen when nothing happens I don't know why do they call him a tanky? Like, he does not- he doesn't go into, like... I wouldn't even call, um, you- you guys, anyone in my audience, tankies. Like, because you're- you- you don't have- Like, to me, a tanky is someone with, like, a religious- almost religious nationalistic, uh, zeal towards Stalin. Like, that's- that's how I understand it to be. I know that it has different historical meanings. But, like, I've always seen At Bad Empanada as a historian, and he's only ever spoken about Lenin, um, or about anyone as a historian. Like, the few times I've ever heard him, um, put words in a historical figure's mouth is when he's had actual sources to back that up, like, straight afterwards. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I mean, like... There's a difference between, like, that, that guy that guy pretending to be bad empanada and then putting le words in Lenin's mouth, um, and being a historian talking about these figures. Like, bad empanada doesn't... Bad empanada is, like, very good at um, appearing to have a unbiased... Um, an un unbiased uh, opinion, like... I say appearing as though because there is always bias, but um, he at, at least attempts to uh, remove that from when he's making videos about things and talking about historical figures. Uh, you don't come across as one. You just co talk, you come across as someone who like reads historical texts and remembers them. Like you, you, you. People who you you are one you are a person who um, quotes people's words rather than creating um, your own biased opinion about what they thought. That that's why I had a laugh at the 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 fake bad empanada account because that was just someone making up shit. It's hilarious. Yeah. I'm just in a position where I don't know nearly enough, and I refuse to accept out of the uh, just just out of the gate accept the um, Western viewpoints of things as fact. Doesn't mean like I I I'm anti-West. Well, I am anti-West, but not in that sense. I'm just like I'm just very. I find it very important to uh, question and be criti crit critical rather than just, you know, believing everything that comes down. Right. Do, 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 do. I'm going to be right back. I want to grab something. I'm just going to be a short break. Going for a quick run to the... And I'm back. Oh, ah, sleep well, pigeon dente. I just have two friends to show y'all. 
The first is um, a friend that I always get around this time of the year. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Hollow chocolate! Yes. Oh. I learned about slave labor since since I last had these. Yay. But the more important friend is F is 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 my 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 boo lent me his 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 sharky. It's his little sharky plushie. I just love it so much. And his name is Bruce and I love him. And yeah. I I, I now have a shark plushie in my room. I have Brucey. Brucey here. Hey. Good old Brucey. He's uh, hanging out next to Sean on my uh, on my uh, on my fox cube. On my cube. <sighs> but yes, it is time. It is time for. What I the, the what is it called the, the ritual? There's, it is time for the ritual, and it is for me to bite the face off of the first chocolate rabbit of the year. My best bet. Okay. So I'm interested. So I'm interested in learning more about Kira Chats. Because the white leftist community hates her almost as much as um, Luna. I'm very, very curious to find out why. So I'm going to have to start doing some research into that. She's the the five dollars for the five dollars a month um lady, the five dollars a month lady, everyone. But here's the thing: like, when whenever I see the white leftist uh, community shitting on someone and calling them a grifter, like people, pe um, and when I say that, I say people like Xander Hall, Hunter Avalon, Keffels, all of these people who like do actually grift. <laughs> um, I'm just like, why, 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 so I am, I am curious about that, but for now, let's move on to talking about, I'm not going to put this under politics, I'm going to put it under, oh yeah, I'm just chatting, yeah, this is not politics. Continuing. Is Xander Hall okay? Um, I, I don't. I don't respect anyone who. Um, no, no. Xander Hall is not okay. Um, from memory, he uh, was a bit an abusive piece of shit to his ex, and then basically uh, tried to gaslight everyone into um, uh, feeling sorry for him as if he was the abuse survivor. Um, yeah, that's, that's it, Monkey Game of the Moon. It just makes me so, it just, in my experience, the, the, the lib, the white leftist, um, uh, debate bro community tends to call anyone who disagrees with Western hege hegemony to a grifter. Um, but, like, 
how is that any different to what they 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 do anyway? You know what I mean? Like they're just pointing out that they make money talking about politics in a sphere different from them. It's just like it, it plays it from from the outside. It just looks like people saying, but "Yet you live in a society curious." I am very smart. Like that's literally just Vorsch and Xanderhal and all of these pricks. Oh man, this one is an absolute doozy. You are not going to believe it. <laughs> Keppel's decided to go for, I'm actually the victim here in her like random bizarre trying to start a conflict with me thing that if you go over the evidence clearly shown in my last two videos, pretty fucking clear cut, right? So just, just look at this and try not to laugh. So she starts out by going over what happened to her in Ireland, oh, wow. which I haven't been talking about, by the way, because she confided in me about this. She left this out of the video, but she told me that the reason yeah. why she did PR for the Northern Ireland Police Service, which she was called out from on Twitter by many victims of British colonialism. Yeah, yeah. So, like, that makes sense now. Like, that whole thing makes sense now that, um, I, that, that there's context behind it. I, I don't have, I like, fucking shade against Keffels for a lot of things, but, like, sucking up to the police while, like, be, people were trying to use the police to murder her, um, I, justified? <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that that's, like, the most justified, um, bootlicking I've ever seen, like, no. the fuck? She's not a revolutionary, she's a fucking YouTuber. Get, cut her a fucking break. Wait. Stop, stop, stop putting these people up on pedestals, seriously. Like, I would, I would, I, like, I, I, you know, a cab, but I will, I will suck up to the cops if it's gonna benefit me or my family directly. Fuck off. Like, what, what do you think, my principles are more important than my life? No. <laughs> Unless, unless my life can, can be, like, uh, traded in for some sort of, like, global change. But, um, but up until that point, expecting Keffels or anyone not to, to lick the boot, um, if it's, like, fucking survival. <laughs> yeah. In Ireland, and she just locked them all or called them all, you know, names. Difference is, I have absolutely zero faith in the police to uh, protect me. Um, if I needed, uh, help, like, it's just not something that I have experienced in my life. In, in my life, uh, every time I have turned to the police for help, uh, they have, uh, done absolutely nothing and not helped. So, take from that what you will. Whatever. She told maybe me I, maybe I'm just not pretty or, um, uh, rich enough that the reason that she had done that was because she was scared and she felt like she needed to like that um was, be nice yeah. to the cops and do this shit for them so that they would offer her better protection you know which is fine or whatever but she tries to frame herself as like a victim here because one i put out a video on her doing that and also her attacking Lu luna oi as part of you know the generic sort of racist attack campaign against luna and she yeah. tries to frame which is racist. Like, the whole attack campaign against uh, Luna is fucking racist as fuck. Like, everyone knew her purported motivations for doing that, when we didn't. It was private. And I made that video before she told me that. And when she told me it, I privated the video. Straight up, I privated the video because she'd given me context that changed my mind on the situation. And she's nonetheless here referencing this situation to try and gain, like, victim points against me. Which is fucking insane considering she confided in me about this. And I thought that I was supporting her through it. And her reaction to that was to invite me onto a stream and like try and see like the, this is these are the sort of things that I that like again I I am being nitpicky as fuck here, but like there are certain points where it just seems nice guy to me. I'm sorry, it's because I, it's because I'm a woman and I can just there are certain turns of phrases that men almost all men use, which irk me they just just they crawl crawl into my they, they just make my skin crawl um and part of that is like you know i was helping her through this like f fucking hell dude you talk about these parasocial relationship bullshit all the time like you you, <laughs> you don't know this person your friendly acquaintances like you said like you don't help her through things you just f f 
fucking talk to a person, to a random person online. And if you help them out, that's cool, but like, mm, it's, 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 it's something that irks me when, like, you know, men talk about, you know, like, how, you know, oh, you know, I was helping her and stuff. I don't know. It's just it's just weird to me and it's creepy and I can't put my finger on it. I'm sorry. Confront me about some random drama that isn't even drama that she herself admits she doesn't care about and didn't actually happen. So let's watch. Um, not because of that circumstance. It was actually in spite because I had made a video about... It's not in spite. I would have made a video about... Fucking like anyone doing PR. I mean, he was like satirizing. I hate that I'm using the word satire because it's going to be taken out of context as well. But like, he was satirizing like the. It was literally just satirizing her, um, the structure of her video, like the title and the the thumbnail. So, all right, Vision uh, Dada, you have fun. A police service, especially only good dreams. Police service while calling themselves like a leftist personality. That's not spite. That's just fucking like basic logic. Like, that's incredibly fucked up. And yeah, why not cover both things at once, right? Why, why would I... So it's it's really that fucking simple. She's I don't like, know, I don't know, like, Keffels has somehow, like, dragged Bad Empanada into the parasocial shit. Which is incredible. Hey! Done randomly! To frame it as me being I'm obsessed well. with her when... We're gonna get to the logs that show that as, like, the... It's fucking... This Bad Empanada won't leave me alone and it's creepy. I mean, like, I hate that. I fucking hate that shit. That that is literally that is literally what that that is exactly the same as what um, Vosch does, by the way. Um, when when he uh, when, when throughout the whole uh, what's the what's the name um, fuck Cat Black um, throughout the whole Cat Black saga, like he was in it was constantly saying how like she was obsessed with him, she was obsessed with him, like dude. No, like, the, the, I put Keffels in my titles of my YouTube uh, videos, like the stream dumps, just the stream dumps, and um, the the attention goes up like by a, by a thousand percent, like ten times, ten times the amount of um, uh, click throughs, uh, just by putting Keffels' name in my YouTube video. Uh, it, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Keffels, but you are, your name is trending, um, and it gets more views on, 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 uh, the internet. A girlfriend just finished a 24-hour stream, trying to learn video editing to help with highlights. Ooh! You should download, um, if you don't, if you, if, unless, I, I mean, I don't know anything about, uh, the Adobe suite, uh, because I have no money. Um, feel free to, oh, by the way, um, don't forget to like, like, subscribe, or uh, if if you can afford uh, that cool that coolness. Um, but um, yeah, and when it comes to video editing, I use DaVinci Pro, which is really cool. Uh, the only things that I can recommend if you're going to be editing long amounts of video, um, have have your editing software, the cache the videos, everything, all of your work on a solid state hard drive. You're going to cut down the amount of uh, rendering time and also uh, rendering audio um, waveforms and all of the all of the nice stuff. Um, you're going to speed everything up by, uh, you know, again, 10 times. Like, li literally, I'd be waiting an hour um, editing things on my hard drive for my uh, waveforms to show up. That's how that's how I um, tell when certain things are happening. I can tell when I'm talking and when someone else is not talking, like through the looking at just looking at the waveforms because I have them um, separate into two channels. Um, that takes an hour on a hard drive, uh, on on but on a solid state hard drive, it takes five minutes. Woo! But yeah. Yeah, do everything on do everything on your solid state drive. Make sure that you go into the settings and that it's using your GPU, as uh, so assuming you have a good GPU. But yeah, that's it. You can you often use um, wave the audio waveform to tell if there's something interesting happening. So that's another tip to use. But yeah, good luck. Every single time I've spoken to her, she has initiated contact with me.
And I'll show you that. Hold on one second. Luna Oi. To, to the really funny part. Being a landowner. Luna Oi is a. Luna Oi is not a landowner. She lied about that. Vietnamese yeah, YouTuber not. who's gone into a lot of back and forth with other YouTubers. I really wasn't thinking much about that video. Um, because I don't actually have really strong feelings about Luna Oi one way or another. Yeah, you made a video entirely about her shitting on her, okay? But that's kind of the background. So months later, I decide to ask Bad Empanada to come on my stream. Exactly, you asked me. How am I not leaving you alone? You asked me to come on your stream. And when it came time to come on the stream, uh, about 30 minutes before, I told- 18 minutes before, we can see. 8.42, you told me to come on at 9.00 told him that I wanted to bail on the stream. Um, you said, you're, you're too drunk, you need to bail. Okay, you can still talk to someone if you're drunk. You know, I'd been drinking, I felt uncomfortable. I that. That's a lie, that's a lie. Let me show you, that's a lie. She told me that she, she wasn't drunk or anything. She told me specifically- Like, she was drinking. Like, she was lying- she was lying about, um... She was lying about not drinking, not being drunk, like, you can- her chat, her, her chat on the screen is joking about d drunk Keffels. Like she wasn't, she was, she might have been tipsy or something like that. But they were already having a conversation about that. We saw that, and we saw that in the original vod. So yeah, you know, that's incorrect, dude. Dude, dude, you're better than this. Go back to, go back, go back to to the stuff that you're good at, please. This is uh, hmm, kind of cringe, but oh well. In Discord DMs that she wasn't drunk. I wasn't even drunk. I was just trying to opt out of the conversation because it was yes. making me upset. Yes. Yes. What do you think women do when they're trying to get out of conversations with men? Dude, read between the fucking lines. Wait. When when <laughs> women women and women women in chat like. What do you do when you're trying to get out of a conversation with a man? Like you fucking don't tell them the truth. That you are, you know, emotionally unable to do it at the time because that that means that you're hysterical and emotional and um, you'll be dismissed. Like she's in a sphere where she can't fucking show emotion and that's fucking bullshit. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wish he would just move past this because it's this right is fucking not, there. This is, this it's is, right fucking there. doesn't make like, you look good at all. Look at I publish them. Um, if someone says they're too drunk to talk, um, accept that. And and the fact that you keep on doubling doubling down on that is is really fucking gross. Zaz. So oh, I can use the grapple bow. In in my last video on the topic, and she has the audacity to just lie about this. What uh, the hell else is there to say? I wasn't even drunk. I was just trying to opt out of the conversation because it was making me upset. And your response to that is, oh, she was just fucking lying about it. Uh, yeah, no shit, dude, because she didn't want to tell you the truth for whatever reason. Read between the lines, dude. ...about this. She's, li like, lying to try and craft a drama narrative, like she... Because she found... What? This is in D DMs, dude. She straight up intentionally imploded her, like, um, amicable sort of relation with me to, to farm YouTube content of it. She planned this. And it's no, so fucking didn't. obvious because this is like a workshop public relations sh sort, of sort of statement that just lies about things that anyone can go and check the evidence for and see that they're untrue, like here. The topic of Ireland is something that's very traumatic to me. I'm in therapy. Again, she didn't even tell me that we were going to talk about this. She didn't say to me, I don't feel comfortable talking about this. She didn't say to me, she didn't say to me that she was in therapy or anything like this. What she said to me- She doesn't have to, dude. Who the fuck do you think you are? You're literally just an acquaintance. You're a friendly acquaintance. Nobody owes you shit, dude. What? Dude. Like, I, I love your videos, but nobody owes you their- She doesn't owe you her time or attention, dude. Um, yeah. I move on to something with some actual substance, fuck. He was, I'm too drunk, I need to bail. If you're drunk, yeah. you can still ha you can still chat with someone. Not if they don't... I really... I re can, could you imagine, um... I, 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 like, this is taking it... This is hyper hyperbolic, but, like, could you imagine, um, Andrew Callahan saying the same things? And, uh, the implications involved with that? Like, dude. 
to respond with to, to, when if <sighs> she said that she's too drunk and she didn't want to talk, and your response was, "You you can still talk if you're drunk." I don't know how to I don't know how to restructure that into a better sentence because that just says everything in the sentence that, that speaks for itself dude in fact being drunk makes chatting with someone better obviously i responded to that by saying you know really i just went live you can't leave me now because i trusted her that the reason that she told me for why she was bailing okay. was just that she was drunk generally if you want people to like understand your uh, you didn't trust that at all you tr you trusted that she said she was drunk, but you didn't trust her to say you didn't trust her with um her her saying that she didn't want to talk because she was too drunk. You didn't trust her with that. What the fuck are you talking about? You pushed past her You pushed past her boundaries, dude. And and you're double downing. You're doubling down on that. There is so much that you can say about the whole interaction, um, which doesn't have to make you look like a fucking creep, because I know that you're not a creep. So stop making yourself look like a fucking creep, dude. Reasoning for something, it's good to tell them that reason, or at least insinuate that it's more. Like he's serious. literally he's literally playing into the whole leftist pu pushy leftist um, meme at this point. He's just like complete, completely, completely lost in that meme right now. <sighs> than what you were framing it as because I'm too drunk I need to bail after you can come to someone and schedule a specific time with them 18 minutes beforehand and they go yeah, dude. like yeah dude if they if she if she changes her mind that's up to her like I can't believe that I'm having this conversation about bad empanado right now I can't believe that I'm like actually listening to him try to justify this like it's it, it, it's it's bad not it's 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 kind of bad on itself on its own you can like take the L and move on but you're doubling down on this shit and that's really gross if you know that, they're already they, they tell their fans and shit hey I'm live now I would gladly just cancel my stream if she had told me I'm on I'm not she comfortable did. talking about this right now she did instead of she I'm did. too drunk but to me yeah, she, I'm too drunk seemed yeah. like a fucking bullshit like cop out because if you're too drunk you well it, it wasn't it, well I mean like you should still accept someone wanting to fucking cop out dude for whatever reason, she didn't feel comfortable with telling, uh, to, with being, <laughs> with being vulnerable against a general acquaintance, as you put it. Fucking, who the fuck do you think you are? You can still talk to someone, someone you've talked to amicably, amicably many times before and have a good time doing so. That's not what happened, though. She's trying to, you know, frame it as her being the victim of some sort of massive peer pressure. When that's not what happened at all. I sent her, like... It's not massive peer pressure, it's just... The same old, like, social misogyny that no one seems to be aware of. Four or five messages on this. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Comfortable. And the topic of Ireland is something that's very traumatic to me. I'm in therapy over all of the traumatic events that had occurred over the... And, like, yes. And, uh, yeah, yes, a bad empanada. She's going to want to go into a deep and meaningful DM discussion with you while she's already live with her fans talking to them about how uncomfortable she is and dealing with random trolls. Yeah, cool. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Because you mean that much to her. <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are? Come last on, Last several months of my life. So his response to that was to say, come on, and try and pressure me into it. She's like trying to frame this like fucking rape or something. To say, come on and try and pressure you into it? Yeah, well, because yeah. you had organized a talk with another streamer at a specific time and you bailed 18 minutes before after they'd already gone live in anticipation. And you didn't even give yeah. me like a good reason for it. Right? What do you expect? You expect me to be like, oh, okay, yes. you're drunk. I guess we can't talk. I yes. guess I'll, I'll just turn off my stream. You know, no big deal. It's, it's incredible that she's going for the victim angle here when we can all see what she did and what she said to me in the chat. Like, I released the logs in full. She's straight up lying. 
people from his chat came into my chat. He's like, people from his chat came into my chat. Who cares? She has one, one example of someone saying something in her chat, and I told her that I'll ban them. It's in the fucking, it's in the Discord logs. The goal here, mm, like, she's, it's in she's the Discord not, logs here. She's I said just, to her. She's literally talking about herself, dude. Not, not you. She's talking about why she was uncomfortable at the time. Um, fun fact. Fun fact. Um, when when people are uncomfortable about something, right? Um, they they don't always want to talk. Uh, have a deep and meaningful DM discussion while you're while already live to her, you know, thousands of viewers, <laughs> uh, and have to deal with all of that shit at the time, and maybe saying that she was too drunk to talk was her way of not having to have that conversation in the first place. You're not owed an explanation. She didn't even, she didn't even, like, have to bloody say that she was drunk. She could have just said, nah, I'm not doing it. Which, you know, I think that might have been a little bit better. Maybe that would have been better, but, like, it wasn't necessary. You aren't owed an explanation over this shit, dude. Move if on. Tell me who they were. Stop I'll ban being them. fucking pest. Said, I would like to permanently ban them all. She's trying to frame this <sighs> as her being a victim of the vile, bad empanada harassment campaign. No. When what happened? She came to me to talk to You're me. Reading into this shit all the time. When it, when the time was literally eighteen minutes off, she cancelled, claiming to be drunk. I didn't think that being drunk was a good enough reason not to have a generic, amicable conversation well, with someone who you've talked to before. Dude, so your I said, opinions really? don't matter. Really? Like I went live. We, can we talk or what? She didn't clarify that her reasoning for not wanting to talk was because she was uncomfortable. At this point, I don't think that's she even didn't true have to. because. You know, we've all seen her conduct during the conversation. Who cares? Give me a fucking break. Like, so this again, again, who cares? Like, it doesn't matter what her reasons were. The fact is, she didn't want to talk. That's it. That's it. There's no, there's, there's, there's nothing else to it. She didn't want to talk. You shouldn't have pressured her. Fucking, just take the L and move on. Why are you making this such a big deal and making yourself look like a fucking sex pest? This is just a complete fucking joke. She's clearly just lying. Tried to pressure me into it. And then he himself came into my Twitch chat to pressure me into it. She's literally trying to frame it as like as if she was the victim of rape or something because I didn't want to cancel a scheduled Not rape, chat. harassment. Right. Just, 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 just the standard um, classic misogyny, which is isn't intentional. It's just done, and it's just it's just accepted by society. Like that's it. That's all it is. Just, just the your run of the mill. Misogyny. Already gone live for, for a fucking dumb reason, like, oh, I'm a little drunk, which she then later admitted, by the way, was a lie. But she's gonna use that excuse here anyway, and, um, I'll show you the chat logs when she does, because she said to me straight up she wasn't actually drunk and it was a lie. Who cares? So I finally oh, agree. Fuck. I, I do not care. I, I, like, I fucking do not care whether she was lying or not. Like, fucking hell. Men need to, like, understand that they're not... You, you're, you're not owed an explanation for us not wanting to talk to you. Fuck. When is he going to stop Apparently, talking about this shit? You didn't even send those DMs to my friend. Apparently you sent it to some <sighs> random go. left com who is now suspended from Twitter. I have zero idea what this is even about, LMAO, while I keep saying friend. And that last line she said because even the original person that she claimed this was about... She says that they're not actually even her friend. She, you've been holding your tongue on this for years. Herself admits she didn't actually care about, as I just showed. And now she's like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit down. I'm not going to back down. I'm going to be assertive. I'm going to confront the bad people. Holy shit, you are. Yeah, and she did it in the shittiest possible way. She could have talked about this stuff that, like, actually mattered. But instead, <laughs> like, I mean, it's okay to talk about the way that she felt in the situation and all of that. Like, like, that, that makes sense, but... Uh, there's so much more that could have been made out of this whole situation that neither of them seem to be capable of doing. It's just fucking sad at the end of the day. It was a wasted opportunity for a conversation about um, the way that uh, women are treated within the streaming space. But then again, Carefuls is a part of uh, the whole Twitter space... Uh, sorry, um, Twitch space that um, harasses minorities, so I guess... That might be a branch too far for her. Why are the bad people, Keffels? To get into these fights, but the situation with him was really unfortunate.
And you'll see it when I upload the video tomorrow about the incident that occurred. The Madame incident Panada that occurred. decided to tell this 20-year-old uh, Asian-American second-generation immigrant Holy shit, Asian American second generation immigrant. She's just like looking for random identity categories from this random anonymous Twitter account. All he does is post his political takes he on Twitter. He his political that's, that's takes. His entire okay, so let's take a look at what Keffel said. She admits that she sends people death threats. Okay, Keffel's own words, her own voice here. Let's listen. You're right. Okay, I'll concede. I do remember. I did say this to one person and it was flamenco and I stand by that. Oh, so she told someone to kill themselves. She told... I don't know, the second generation Latino immigrant who just posts his political takes. Damn, Keffels. I can't believe that you wish death upon that guy. I can't believe that you told him to kill himself. Oh my god, it's so fucking funny how she pretends to care about this. This is Keffels' best friend, by the way. Let's, let's go over it again. So this is one of Keffels' best internet friends, one of her favorite creators who she sucks up to, you know, has little amicable chats with, you know, sends cute little tweets out all the time. What do we got here? Um, these people are subhuman, and I want them to kill themselves. Yeah. Keffels is really outraged about this. This is not just her desperately trying to, like, farm some sort of drama from a drama that she seems to honestly have intentionally started with me. Like, she is such a pathetic- I I'd, I'd still have- I'm still interested in this, like, intentional bullshit. Like, um, dude, can you, like, prove that? Because it seems like you're just making it about you when uh, it doesn't look like- had anything to do with you you know like i think she's probably just pissed off that you pushed her boundaries i'd be pretty pissed off as well and like you know this is good this is good uh, drama farm to be honest as well so little clout shark that she will intentionally ruin amicable relations <sighs> why why are you using that as such a such an insult that's her fucking job dude that's her job you knew this when you started interacting with her. What did you think that, like, she wasn't going to do her job? After you pressured, like, after you pressured her into a conversation that she didn't want to have? <laughs> okay. ...that she has with other creators. <coughs> can, like, sort of bait them into having a, like, a random, like, exchange with her that she can get some ad clicks off. And again, as she said in this conversation, also, apparently, you didn't even send those DMs to my friend. Apparently, you sent it to some random leftcom who is now suspended from Twitter. Zero idea what this is even about. Damn, she really I would love to know what this. it's about as well. She, you know, she, she really had this pent up for two years. By the way, you know, you know, we want to see how, how pent up she had it for two years. For two years, she's had this pent up. Do you want to find out more about that? Let me show you. So, um, here we have Keffels in my Twitch chat, previously subbed for six months. So I only started streaming in mid-2021. So her claim that she's this has been eating at her for two years, apart from the fact that she admitted to me right here that she has, I didn't even know what this is about, so she just, like, found some random Again, shit again, I spoke about this the other day. Like, the, 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 the whole, like, telling her friend to kill themselves thing is beside the point. Um, that was just a response to feeling pressured into a conversation she didn't want to have like i could be fucking wrong but that's really what it looks like from from my vantage point from the outside it just looks like she didn't want to fucking talk so yeah yell at me about because she wanted to start drama she was subbed to my channel for six months she's been following she's still following me she's been following me since may 2nd she came she came to my chat numerous times she says screw you i am the number one bad empanada fan if you don't sim for bad empanada, what are you? What the hell are you doing with your life? Oh my yeah. god, it's the best streamer on Twitch who is incredibly smart and hot. You're just lying. She's just fucking lying so blatantly and about I find what? It hilarious, honestly. Wait, it... wait, because she was enjoying your content and memeing in your chat. Like, do you think that she was like? You can't believe that someone can stew about <laughs> things that they're pissed off about. Like, I don't think about the things that people have done who have pit Like, if, if, if you have done something to piss me off, I've forgotten about it already. But I can tell you that I'm going to remember everything in detail when you've pissed me off again. Like... Like, this all comes down from a... Society which does not teach our kids how to interact um, with other people on an emotional level. And a society that expects women to um, not talk about their emotions and not, not you know, be angry 
um, or show any weakness otherwise, uh, they are dismissed as hysterical because that's exactly the standards that men place on themselves. And because men are the hegemonic power in society, that gets handed down to women and minorities. Because when we speak up about things that we're, we have a problem with, when we get upset, when we cry, uh, we are treated with the same fucking um, wooden um, victim-blaming rhetoric that men turn on themselves. It's just fucking ridiculous. So much could have been made out of this. Shit so isn't much. gonna affect me at all. It doesn't matter. It's just a fucking joke. And the way that she tried to frame her video, like, um, yeah, bad empanada the bag, won't leave me alone and it's creepy. Every single interaction that I... Uh, and then literally, you make this video making yourself look like a pushy creep. Dude. Dude, like, you've leaned into it. You've doubled down on the exact thing. You're missing the point so hard right now, and it's really frustrating. Gosh, I wish that I actually had, like, a, a, huge, a, a large enough audience that I could just, like, talk about Evanada and Kevils and tell them how fucking dumb they are right now. But, you know, they're making the bag, so... Whatever. Peace out. Come on. I've had with her. She initiated, by the way. Just to show you that, again, here's okay. the Discord. First interaction. Dude, stop using stop using creepy said, rhetoric, dude. bad empanada. I was wondering if you'd come on my stream to talk. <sighs> and she says, it's okay, I love you. You don't need to keep this act up. I know what's going on here with her. There's something incredibly weird going on here with her. This is, like, bizarre. Kill yourself. Literally, he was inviting him to Literally. commit suicide. That's, That's what you did. That's what you did. You admitted it. Remember, I did say this to one person, and it was flamenco, and- Ooh! Literally inviting someone to- <laughs> This is so easy to dissect. Like, this is fucking great. It's Honestly, fucked up. This is really funny. It's you know? not fucked up. You, you admitted you don't care about it. You said right- You admitted right here. And we have- We have the chat logs. We have the fucking chat logs. Are you- Who are you kidding? <laughs> She's just, like, hoping that the people who watch her videos then actually go yeah, and check the Yeah, it's evidence. all fake. Oh man, it's like what if all the It's not real. Like it's been drama, it's 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 all planned. It's all planned out, I, I and I'm all part of it. And I'm the main, this, I'm the main benefactor. That person who is formerly my friend. We we talk every now and then, but that's not true. She said they're not her friend. She's all just straight up lying. Oh my god, this is so fucking funny. Also, you didn't even send those DMs to my friend. Apparently, you sent it to some left comer who's now suspended from Twitter. I have zero idea what this is even about. LMAO. It was your friend. It was your friend. It was it was her friend. She's right here saying it wasn't her friend. This is yeah, I mean, hilarious. Yeah, how... yeah, that's fucking cringe. Like, why, why, why all the mixed messages there? Um, that's cringe as fuck. However, like, forget about that shit for a second. You're not owed an explanation for anything that happened there, and it's gross that you think you are, dude. You make such good videos. Stick to that and stop making yourself look like a what like the stereotypical leftist creep. <laughs> like holy shit, the goal to just do this when we can see the evidence right here and uh, see that it's total this is so cringe. Like, this was this is the cringest shit ever. Made this video. She knew this was out there. This is fucking hilarious. Regardless, his defense was, well, they're a Nazi. They're not a Nazi. They're not a fascist. Yes, but... they are. I can see why you would make that kind of defense. If you go onto Bad Empanada's channel, one of his most popular videos is him defending Stalin's mass murder and ethnic cleansing and genocide. <laughs> I guess it's yeah, like that was fucking cringe. Obviously, we we watched that together. It's just like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's not true at all. What are you fucking talking about? Like that video is talking about th that video is talking about um for, for a start the main premise is talking about wikipedia and it's using the um holodomor as a uh vehicle for that for that conversation um but at no point does he defend defend the holodomor at all what that that's just fucking dishonest and like i'm sure that she fucking knows better than that we watched it last week. We watched it last week. Oh, you! Oh, the Holodomor video. It's really interesting. He he used 
Well, he's talking about he's using the Holodomor as a conversation, as a vehicle to have a conversation about Wikipedia, um, with Western influence on Wikipedia and Western and the way the West uses uh, utilizes uh, the term genocide in order to uh, basically wep. Sorry, the West weaponizes the the term genocide in order to um to subjugate smaller countries like that's what the video is about um but it's not about defending ethnic cleansing and genocide uh besides the holodomor was not ethnic cleansing um at all and if you want to have a quote, if you want to, if you want to um, hear uh, Bad Empanada's opinions on ethnic cleansing, he has a really fucking amazing video on um, the the Uyghur um, genocide, uh, where he again talks about the way that the West um, like uses the uses these terms of genocide and that in order to be to look squeaky clean while attacking other countries uh, who are doing exactly the same thing that they are it's just because they're not in the west that uh, they um attack them over him <laughs> no she's actually she's like this is actually a joke okay this is actually a joke she doesn't believe that this is a hundred percent a joke i i get it now i i get it now <laughs> 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 It's the fake. Okay, this is that this fake is laughter. Joke. I know, I know that she agrees with that video. I, I hundred percent know that. I know what her political positions are. Before, like, she started sucking up to like Vosh and like the liberals and shit. Like, I know this. Like, this is great. If you label some, I I appreciate this now. One that you don't like as a fascist, you can immediately dehumanize them and justify anything against them. Yeah, like you here to the to the poor second generation latino who you told to kill himself that's that's awful why did you do that this poor second generation latino remember i did say this to one person and it was flamenco and i just for, for posting his political beliefs online oh no <laughs> that's inc it's funny because that's what fascists do that dehumanization tactic is literally what fascists do fascists aren't mm -hmm. human if you if you said that fascists aren't human that's dehumanization and you're literally a fascist oh, this is so fucking great um, she's Oh my god, this is hilarious. Wow, this is fucking great. I mean that 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 is lib shit that right there is saying that uh, it is is saying that uh fascists uh, need to follow their leader is fascism. Like that that is the most lib shit ever. Ah, boss fight. So I don't know what she's what she's playing at here because it, the evidence is so obvious. Like the logs have been released. It, like it's fucking so cut and dry. Like if Destiny, who I know hates her for some, you know, for whatever reason, because just a piece of shit. But the thing with Destiny is he's a piece of shit. But he's a piece of shit who like usually looks at both sides. He usually comes to the wrong assessment of both sides. But in a case like this, like he would look at the logs and shit, and he would call her out on this shit like immediately because yeah, because it's just he's so a man. obvious. Destiny's like, Wait, apart from what? being a piece of shit, he's the only person who tends to like check both sides. He usually still somehow comes to the wrong conclusion, but I at least slightly respect him for that and hate him for everything else. So like, why would That's you do cringe. this? You're just opening yourself up to get totally fucked by anyone who actually looks at what happened, who looks at the evidence, who looks at you admitting that this person wasn't even your friend, who looks at you straight up calling someone, falling for someone to kill themselves just, just as you're pretending that you care about here. Are you fucking kidding? It turned into this thing where we went back on back and forth and he tried to turn it into a debate about the ethics of when it is and is not okay to tell someone to take their own life you did that here you said here you admitted you told remember to i did life. say this to one person and it was flamenco and i stand by that okay. <laughs> and you stand by it um i decided to leave the conversation that's not true you admitted you admitted that you had done it yourself and you left the conversation because you were getting fucking destroyed abruptly because i i couldn't take it you it was couldn't take it. Oh, you were in such distress. You were in such massive distress. Look how much distress she was in. Remember, I did say this to one person, and it was flamenco, and I stand by that. Oh, no, I was in such distress. I was in such terrible distress. Really fucking stupid conversation, and it was very upsetting. A really His stupid conversation that you started. Why can't, why can't you, like, why, why, why do we spend, like, 99% um, of this uh, video, like, with him... Just, just acting like a prick, rather than talking about things that actually could be 
uh, useful to talk about there, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just, there's so much that can be criticized, like, her opinions on the Holodomor video, like, her live shit. Why are you not focusing on the shit that's, like, worth focusing on and just, just... Is it your, is it your her ego? I don't want to think that, but, like, fucking hell. Patriarchy is a fucking illness, I swear. The response to this has been like two call of videos on YouTube, and he's trying to say that I gaslit him and that mm. I manipulated him, and yeah, that yeah. I did the exact well, same. Well, you didn't manipulate me because now manipulate would would um imply that you were successful. <sighs> it is ego, isn't it? It's it, it, like to 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 say that um, to not be to to say that she is trying to gaslight, but you didn't manipulate me. You can't manipulate me. I'm too smart for that. See. Fuck. I spotted your bullshit immediately and called you out on it straight away. And my response yeah, was, you one, to didn't, post the chat. The, the, the thing is, though, Bad Empanada, you didn't actually support the real issue and you're completely missing the point of the whole thing. And Keffles is doing a shitty, sh doing a shitty job uh, of actually um, um, explaining it, but... Uh, yeah. That you invited me to on my channel to preempt you from and doing then it yourself, cancelled. I know that you would try to deceptively edit to remove the part where you literally admitted to telling someone to kill themselves, which just plain rubbishes your narrative. And two, you added me as a friend afterwards, and you said things to me that revealed you to be bullshitting in these very logs that I just went over, like that, for example. So. Yeah, I made another video to defend myself from you just straight up lying because you approached me on Discord. You added me as a friend on Discord. You initiated a conversation with me on Discord. A conversation which made it clear that you were just straight up bullshitting. <laughs> Especially about your main narrative in this video, which is that your poor, your poor friend was told to commit suicide. And then you say here, zero idea what that is even mm. about. Yep. Again, again, like, Bad Empanada, if you think that was the issue that, that um, was the, you know catalyst for this whole event then yeah you've missed the point entirely and you have no idea why she was upset obviously and and i it, i think that it's wait why is she still at the sound uh, at the front i wonder if i can do this i want to see if there's two mirrors hold on Oh my gosh, there's two of them. This is weird. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, level 50 and level 1. Rude. <laughs> Fantastic. I've just been responding to her this entire time. It's hilarious that she's trying to frame this as anything else. Circumstance, same thing that he did. Even though the situation with me was um, saying that, like, I, I told an actual neo-Nazi who had been stalking me. To oh, so she just said, like, two seconds ago, like, like, you're not allowed to talk about when it's okay to tell someone to do this, right? You're not mm -hmm. allowed to talk about the circumstances like, you know, someone who supports U.S. imperialism and U.S. <sighs> genocide with the world over, right? You're not allowed to say that to someone in that situation. Her threshold is where it's okay. Her threshold, that's where it's okay. She straight up said, framing someone as a Nazi to, like, make it permissible to do things to them that usually wouldn't be permissible is wrong. Like, literally a minute ago, and now she's trying to say that because she did it to someone who she calls a Nazi, that makes it okay. Do you guys see, like, just the massive like cognitive dissonance at play here like this is this is hilarious this is amazing take their own life I, it's first it's first she says it's wrong to even debate when it's okay to say terrible things to people even no, because there's no threshold where it's okay then she goes on to say oh when i did it it was okay because they crossed the threshold amazing through like a third party i said hey can you tell them this and they did that's even that's even worse like that's just that's so weird through a third party, that's supposed to be a mitigating circumstance. That's like really high effort shit. I think that's a completely different situation. It's like... Two seconds ago, you just made it out like there was no situation. Where you know, like, as a yeah. trans person, as someone who a lot of people do legitimately want dead. So that makes it okay for you to tell people to kill themselves? If someone wants to, the US empire to genocide the world over, does, is that not like enough of a threshold to tell them awful things? When, when is the threshold? Is it when they have wronged you personally only? I get a, I would hope a lot of people. empathy to also, you know, be just as enraged about people doing awful things to others as you are to people doing awful things to you. A lot of insane, obsessed, unhinged people who wish harm on me all the time. And being able to stand up and say that to the people who want to hurt me, 
is a very brave thing to do. She's she's trying to frame it as like an act of empowerment. So it's bad when I do it, but it's okay when she does it because it's an act of empowerment. It's a it's an act of empowerment, an incitement to an empowering incitement to suicide. What the fuck? This is fucking hilarious. She's just expertly trying to play the victim. This is amazing. It's it's she's just straight up saying things she doesn't believe at all to try and like um, frame herself as the victim of some sort of harassment campaign when I've just been defending myself from her bullshit the entire time. This is fucking amazing. She started this. Every single like thing I've done has been a response to her. And now she's like, sure, I did this exact same thing, but it's part of my, my campaign to empower myself as a trans woman. And that makes it okay. Now, obviously, keffel has got a lot of harassment and shit. Does that make it okay for you to wish death upon people then? Because I, I get tons of fucking death threats. If you advocate for the interests of the third world against the US, you also get plenty of death threats, okay? Does that make it okay for me to send death threats then? Because I've gotten death threats myself? You're allowed to engage in this behavior that, that you try to frame as abhorrent and unforgivable, and that you argue there is no line, there is no line over which it's okay to do, and then you go on to say that it's, it's okay for you to do it and act- I don't know, I, 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 I don't know what to say about this section other than I definitely disavow. I definitely disavow telling uh, fascists to uh, Roblox themselves. I disavow. Actually, it's empowering. Holy shit. Even though it's a dangerous thing to do. But I think being a guy in your mid-30s to early 40s and just saying that- I can't believe that a woman in her early 60s would dare say that to me. It's just some early 20-something Twitter anarchist. Early 20-something Twitter anarchist. It's so funny how she frames this. Like, some random anonymous account on Twitter. Okay, I wish I knew. Know, like, every little thing about them. Like, like you what see them this tweet, shit was like, about. I love the war in Iraq, for example. And you're not allowed to be mean to them for that because, because you don't know. You don't, you know, you need to know the facts about them behind, behind their anonymous Twitter alias. Don't you know that they're a second generation, 20-something suburban Asian American who has mental health issues? This is so fucking funny. Yes, because you don't she's like, like, she's like borderline smirking during like this. Their political take and then justifying it ad hoc because you think they might be a fascist when they- They absolutely were a fascist. Anyone who supports US imperialism is a fascist, is the modern, you know, only the modern day Nazi. The only thing, the only thing close to the Nazis in the present day are, you know, actual Nazis, obviously, they don't have as much institutional power, and Israel, which is only propped up because of the <laughs> American imperialists in the first place. That's a so, good yeah, game, follow the leader, huh? Imperialism, you deserve to be treated like shit. It's that simple. Of course, she is now aligned with the US imperialist crowd, so she's not allowed to say that anymore, though she would have said it two years ago when she was in my chat being like, Bad Empanada, you're the best streamer ever. Bad Empanada, I love you. They are obviously not. Is insane behavior. It's, it's insane behavior. Just read these chat yeah, logs. Yeah, no, fuck read that. Read the chat logs, and let's decide who is being insane or not. Really fucking gross, and this entire situation is really dumb. I'm hoping that it ends up going away, but he keeps making these videos, so... He keeps making these videos, responding to me. Oh, I hate it when I call someone out, when I initiate contact with them multiple times, when, when you, I'm not going to say I, because this will be clipped out of context, when you sexually harass me in my comments, because that's what it fucking was, when you just blatantly lie contradicting yourself with things that you literally just said to me yesterday with logs that were already public before you even made this video. Don't you just hate it when someone responds to you doing those things and calls you out for them? Ugh, I hate it when these people just won't leave me alone after I do horrible things to them. Unbelievable. Oh, I thought I should make one. I think in the end, this bridge is burned. Like, we've been friends for years, which is the insane part. We have not been friends for years. We've been friendly acquaintances. If, we, if I was your friend, you wouldn't have invited... Oh Dude, 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 if you considered her to be a friendly acquaintance, then her not- then, then you wouldn't have needed, um, an explanation for her cancelling. Like, you don't deserve an explanation for anything. No one does. Like, if someone doesn't want to, like, talk to you at any point, um, that's really not- their problem to have to explain to you, especially not when they're already live to their fans, like... I've, I've had experiences where I've been streaming and I've had to do very... have very stressful text conversations with people, right? It's not a fun experience, and I would rather not do that. I'd rather just tell someone that I'm drunk and not have to talk about it. So what if she fucking lied? She just didn't want to talk to you, dude. At that stage, she didn't want to talk to you, and you should have accepted that, but you didn't. And then you could have talked about so many valid things 
over this whole circumstance. You could have talked about, like, her lip shit. You could have talked about, like, actual material things, but, like, you're too wrapped up in the ego of all of this to actually see the fact that you fucked up. Keffel's fucked up, but so did you. You both, not, no one is fucking innocent here. It is so hot in here that my my on a stream my, to yell at me about it's it's melting. Some, some random DM that you claim I sent to someone. Again, <laughs> again, like I need the receipts for that at this point because there's just not enough. Ago that you admit you have no connection to whatsoever. You don't even know what it was about. That's Hello. The, the, Behavior of someone who's ever first time friend. chatter. Give me a Welcome. It's not the behavior the of someone who's ever a friend with anyone they would ever do anything like that to. Heard of this all, and I even tried to apologize, but he no, would didn't. not accept a call. That's not true. That's not true. Here are our lives. Yeah. I, again, again, that was that was like, don't. Why why would you call anyone without um like messaging them first, saying, "Hey, can I call?" That that's dumb, dude. Don't do that. Keffels, that was dumb. You, yeah, don't do that. Let's go through them. Tell me where you see an apology. Where's the apology? And why would you try to apologize <coughs> in the first place? If you were right about doing this to me, why would you try yeah, to apologize? She should, she should, she should where's, like... where's, where's the <clears throat> apology? There's no apology here. Like, pause at any point, read it's these, tell me where the apology is. There's no apology uh -huh. here whatsoever. Give me a fucking break. What a piece of shit. This is like a, a fucking textbook class in how to be a massive cloud demon piece of shit. Like, there's no coming back from this. If anyone, like, with a big platform, like Destiny or whatever, covers this honestly, like, she's gonna be totally fucked. Like, why no, would you do no. this? You're just digging your hole deeper she's, and deeper. She, she's not gonna be fucked, dude. Like, literally... You both come out looking like complete idiots from this whole this whole thing you both look like fucking idiots this is the dumbest drama i've ever seen and it's hilarious i'm gonna milk it for all it's worth sure. the evidence is <coughs> so badly against you what the fuck is wrong with you he kept insisting that i'm doing all of this for clout when yeah, obviously we have are. very different audiences and i'm not getting i'm not yeah the reason why your audience is very different mm -hmm. to mine is because you've sucked up to liberals for so fucking long you've been a part of the clout net Vorsch's clout network for so I'm fucking so long like i want to see receipts about the Vorsch stuff i've heard him say this make this claim so many times that like i just i need i need receipts at this point that she has anything to do with Vorsch. You know, Vosh, the guy here, as we just went over, told hundreds of trans people in his audience to kill themselves, which you yeah, told didn't care people, about. told, so, told yeah, me to do that. Different audiences. I'm proud of that. I'm going to gain literally Fuck anything Vosh. out of this situation. If you aren't going to gain anything out of this situation, why'd you start it? It sounds like, you know, you came at me thinking that you weren't going to get... <sighs> she didn't start anything. Like, also, fucking, do you think that, do you think culpability in a situation is always derived from who started it my dude like if you're gonna be as much of an idiot as she is you're going to fucking come off looking like a fucking idiot you both fucked up and did real and, and just this is so cringed it is the weirdest you drama you can't fucking take I, I love it back to you it's the cringiest <gasps> shit so i guess like literally, it's like it's like schoolyard shit at this point. It's like oh, it's like oh, you, there's no apology, there's no apology. You expect me to apologize? You started it. Fucking what, man? <laughs> Coming from the streamer who talks about like how how all of this is bullshit and all of it's a show. Like this is just so bizarre to me. The victim, like the self, like the I know, right? The High school stuff. I love it. I miss it. Is incredible. This is like honestly, High school this was is awesome. user behavior. I don't like, like <sighs> doing psychoanalysis over the internet and shit, but this is the most clear-cut textbook example of actual abuser behavior that I've seen. Says, 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 bad empanada, PhD. Uh, fucking stop, stop trying to use abuser shit. Oh, if anyone's having, if anyone has talked about, like, yeah, careful with the weird Keffel's video where she's like, where she said bad empanada and apologized and was just like super creepy about it. That was really creepy and, abu and, and, and fucking smacked of abuser rhetoric. But like, half of this video, bad empanada, has been you saying that someone telling you they're drunk and don't want to talk to you isn't enough of a reason for you to uh, give them space. So I'm just going to say that and let that sit for itself and you can decide.
No, actually, no, fuck. Fuck that. I'm not going to do the conspiracy bullshit. That, that is, that is abusive language. That's abusive language. I'm not going to let you, I'm not going to make my audience connect the dots. That's fucking bullshit. Ugh. No, I think that's, um, I think that's abusive language and it, it's not intentional, but it is gross. <clears throat> the person who leaked the no-fly list. Ooh. What's the, what's the no-fly list? Like, just because of the pure amount of lying, of gaslighting, of reframing everything. Okay, if you're gonna use, if you're gonna use the term gaslighting, I need you to actually define it and actually show examples of it. Like, seriously, stop using the word gaslighting without, like, having exa clear examples for it. All this shit, it's just such fucking obvious abuser bullshit. I feel sorry for anyone who knows her. Tomorrow, when I upload the video, you'll see. Wait for the video. You'll see you'll exactly see. No, you, what happened. No, you don't. You don't give a fuck about anyone who knows her. Like, that's your brand, dude. Fuck off. Bend. But you'll see exactly stick to your guns. what happened, right? Now, she, obviously, she's going to... And why should you? Out of context. She's, if she uploads the, the full, like, debate that she had tried to goad me into, it's not going to go well for her, because obviously, I, I, <coughs> it makes me look good, obviously. So she's going to have to, like, do some, you know, a really good editing job. Like, it just, like, bring Sorry. up a bunch of, like, like other grievances that, like, Vorsch and other students <sighs> have with me, etc. To try and frame herself in, like, a favourable... He did call this one, I think, because she did bring on arist aristocracy. So, like, I'm interested. Look at the potential threat to fly to the US, no surprise. Mm. <sighs> was, um... Wait, what was, what's his face? Uh, the f fashy big hands? Oh, what's his name? Uh, Fuentes on that list? Is Fuentes on it? That'd be funny if it was. Like, because there's no way she can actually stay on topic here and frame herself in a favorable light. I, I hope that, like, in a, Neither of you can. a week from now, Bad Empanada will stop lying about me and stop trying to manipulate his viewers and stop. Doesn't it suck when your, people lie about you and manipulate and and manipulate their viewers about you by showing things that you've actually said and did and proving that you said and did them? Oh, man. <laughs> trying to gaslight me. Hmm. What a so fucking hilarious. Like, Stop using the word gaslighting unless you know what it means and you actually show an example of it. Stop using these medical, like, psychological terms without... and teaching your audience to, like, psychoanalyze their friends. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. <clears throat> yeah. What a oh, ridiculous really? person, honestly. It was, uh, it was, um, lives of TikToks, right, uh, was it Raichik? Is, uh, P P Pikachu Raichu? On that? I gotta say, Keffles is 100% like a parody <coughs> I mean. of like the, the liberal Cloud Shark streamer. Like, this is next level. Like, this nah. is very blatant. She, she, w w when it comes to that, she's pretty mid, honestly. Come on, let's, let's be honest. She's not, she's, she, she's not in a position to be anything like different. She, she's never going to be because of just, just, Look at how many uh, minority streamers there are with successful careers. Uh, Vorsch is the... Um, what's his name? Not Epstein. Weinstein. Yeah, Vorsch is the, uh, is the Harvey Weinstein of the Twitch space, basically. You don't make it big... Um, as uh, unless unless yeah, unless you're um, a cishet white man, um, you don't make it as a streamer unless you suck up the Borsch. It used to be Destiny, but then Borsch came along. So yeah, leave that with you. Just hey, how many how many minorities that have disagreed with Borsch have successful careers now? lying in the face of evidence that she already knew that was released me too that directly contradicts her just like contra contradicting her own arguments to like two minutes later by arguing that it's okay when she does it because it's a nazi but also it's wrong for you to claim that when you do it to a nazi it's okay <coughs> yeah, whatever this is fucking hilarious i just reacting to this really quick and uploading it because fucking hell amazing like what else is there to say that's fucking this is this is the exemplar of streamer garbage no like if you ever and also, if I put the word Vorsch in my um, in the title of a video, I get uh, ten times the amount of click throughs.
ever want to show anyone how much of a joke these streamers are, link them this specific video, and it will show them that. I just, I just hope by, that by the time my uh, audience grows, um, like there's going to be a market for people that hate Borsch. <laughs> And then hopefully I can move, I can jump from there and do the things that I actually really care about. Who knows? Extremely quickly. Goals! Yeah, that's all fucking hilarious, man. What a joke. Yep. This whole thing is a fucking joke. This one's only 12 minutes. Hey guys, so Keffel's just made the very poor choice to yeah. invite people onto her stream to refute the claims that she made about the Holodomor being a genocide. And it's once again a great doozy. She pretty much just outs herself again as a massive liar, and I'm going to show you exactly how. Let's get right down to the clip where she was confronted about what she said about me. She claimed that I was a genocide of Stalinists <coughs> who support Stalin's genocide and ethnic cleansing. Let me show you the clip of that first. I bring receipts. She never does. She basically relies on her audience being too stupid to actually seek out the facts and just accepting whatever she says as if it's it, it's like the default truth no matter what. Listen. If you go into Bad Empanada's channel, one of his most popular videos is him defending Stalin's you feel a scene of disliking, but due to the size of his fan base, most of us get painted in a, in a bad... Oh, fucking hell. VDS. I fucking hate. Yeah, yes, cool. Use use literal fascist rhetoric to uh, defend yourself, uh, Vorsch. Like, VDS is literally a reappropriation re of, like, the, the fascist um, American talking point for um, hating Trump. Like, tra Trump derangement syndrome. Literally, like, trying to create a uh, mental disorder based around the fact that people don't like racists and fascists. Yeah. VD v VDS is, stands for Vorsch Derangement Syndrome. And it was fucking, it was taken from tr T TDS, which was Trump Derangement Syndrome. Like, it's literally a fascist talking point. It it, it, it it doesn't make it yeah yeah a hundred percent yeah this is literally like <clears throat> pardon me There's so much of Vorsch's rhetoric is taken from actual fascist rhetoric it's it's incredible absolutely amazing mass murder and ethnic <laughs> cleansing mm -hmm. and genocide okay. Let's go to Bad Empanada's channel. Let's sort by popular. Okay. Well, this is the eighth most popular video on my channel, but it's also the only one that's actually about Stalin. Mm -hmm. So this must have been what she's talking about. Let's click it. So this is a video about the Holodomor genocide question. It goes over the scholarship. Okay, so now we're actually going to talk about something that is material. Good work, Bad Empanada. On the question of whether the Holodomor <coughs> was targeted. Please, please, for the love of all that is holy, don't make yourself look like a creep in this video. Please. The genocide of Ukrainians or not. And I end the video like this. Even if the famine was not a genocide, it was still a massive failure of policy, and the government reacted with more concern for its self-image than for the people who were dying en masse. This is not at all something unique to Stalin or the USSR. Governments in general love to cover up and downplay events that are inconvenient for them. But it <coughs> happened nonetheless, and it's impossible for such a massive human disaster not to be attributable to the authorities who oversaw it, and especially not the ultimate authority, in this case, Stalin. Mm. The fact of the matter is that Stalin heavily deviated from <clears throat> principles formed Man. by Lenin and earlier Bolsheviks regarding the autonomy of peasants and of nationalities with disastrous effect demonstrated by this famine along with many other things, such as Lysenkoism, the deportation of the Crimean Tatars, and the reversal of Lenin's cultural and language policies, which were designed to foster each Soviet Republic's unique identity. Compared to other Soviet leaders, Stalin was uniquely brutal in ways which were not just completely unnecessary for the economic and social development of the USSR, but also just actively detrimental to it. So under no circumstances can his crimes be justified as simply being for the greater good. Okay. So that has to be what she's referring to because it's the only video I've ever I mean that pretty much like speaks for itself like what his opinion of like the USSR was like that video really goes into depth about that whole process and the failures of policy that led to the Holodomor made 
about Stalin. That has <clears> to be <throat> what she was addressing. So she just plain lied about that because, you know, it basically pays in the circles that she's now a part of to be like, this person, tanky Stalin, tanky Stalin, Stalin, bad, bad, tanky. So... She was confronted. So, like, unless she hasn't, un unless she hasn't um, been in any spaces, uh, unless unless Kevils doesn't exist in any space which um, is not in the you know the lib left uh, debate bro sphere, um, and has not watched the video at all, um, yeah, Kefl Kefils is uh, lying through her teeth here. But like, I reckon that all she's seen of that video is the uh, are the memes that um, you know the uh, Vosh subreddit have made about them, uh, namely that he is a tanky because it has the word Holodomor in it, which was purposeful because obviously that's going to get attention. That's why he made he used uh, the Holodomor as a vehicle to make those talking points. It was very effective, and it's a good video, and I recommend you watch it. I wanted live about this and asked <clears> to justify what she was saying. By, it wasn't by me, because she would never, ever, ever make the mistake of talking to me live about something that actually depends on her showing hard evidence to prove her claims. Do you think someone who just plays video games and says whatever two-bit dumb shit comes to mind is capable of talking to me about a historical question that I'm intimately knowledgeable on? Obviously not. Anyway, let's see what she says. People keep going back to Ukraine. I never mentioned Ukraine. I never mentioned the Holodomor. You lying fucking weasel. My only video on Stalin is on Ukraine and the Holodomor, so that has to be what you're referring to. Or you, were you just completely making shit up? Those are the only two options, and oh, both so of them involve the you being a lying Stalinist? piece of shit snake. Very simple. <clears throat> Wait, debating Stalinist was was um. Th th so that's a video she's made since because I've been checking to see if there's any more of this drama. So th th she she fucking subtweeted hi him through like YouTube kind of like whatever the YouTube version of subtweeting. Bad Empanada's vi Bad Empanada's video was about the Ukraine. He has one video about Stalin. I see about Ukraine. Wait, I never talked about Ukraine. Does she know not? Does she not know what the Holodomor was? That that can't be true. <clears throat> that can't be true. So, yeah. I mean. Yeah, bad unless, unless there's a secret bad empanada video that we don't know. He's talking about the Ukraine. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, well, no, he wasn't just talking about the Ukraine. The Holodomor included um, portions of uh, Russia as well. Um, and I uh, can't remember whether it was a as much or more um, people died uh, within Russia than in Ukraine. But either way, not a fucking competition. Because if there was a competition, then the U.S. would win. Well, I mean, I've talked to him privately. We've been friends for years. Like, I That's a lie. This way that she keeps claiming that people who were never her friend were her friend is honestly just fucking creepy. Honestly, what the fuck is wrong with you there? I know that, um... Well, she thought that you guys were friends. And she said that in, in, in things. But you... you... I guess I guess from her perspective it looks like you you were the one that burnt those bridges but like you know that's neither here nor there he defends a lot of what <clears throat> Stalin does more than he's willing to say publicly because Oh, you, you know that? Let me leak the logs, Keffels. Let me leak the, every log from the second that we became so-called friends. Let's do that. Okay, Stalin. Oh shit. Oh shit. What's that? Zero results? Yeah, that's oh a shit! Lie. Oh shit! Just for good measure, let's scroll Oof. through them all. Let's scroll Fucking through hell. all of the logs. Anyone see any mention of Stalin? Anyone see any, any mention of Stalin? And the only times that I've ever spoken to her on voice, they were on either her stream or on my stream or both. That was a very short, that's a very short chat log. So it's all public. I've never talked to her over voice in private. Oh shit! Check out all, all the times that I told her about my secret views on Stalin. In our very long friendship, we've been friends for so long, according to her, aka we exchanged two or three messages, like once every two months. For her, that's a friendship. Where's the Stalin, Keffels? Where's any discussion of Stalin or my secret views on Stalin that you <sighs> claim there? <clears throat> oh shit, it's not there? Like, where is she, where, what, where is she talking about in private? Like, why would you even say that about someone? 
Like, why would she even say that about him? Like, it's like, oh yeah, he defends Stalin so much more. Ooh, okay. There we go. Wow. Lying snake. She will say anything for clout. Yeah. Absolutely anything. Yeah, I, I'm 100% behind get Bad Emperor on that one. That's a fucking... That, that, that was a bullshit fucking lie. Holy shit. Imagine, imagine claiming someone... Imagine, like, bringing up the, a video about the Holodomor which heavily criticizes Stalin's role in, in the process of that. Um, and then claiming that he supports Stalin in private because, yeah, just trust me, bro. Gross. That's fucking gross. Ugh. Ugh. To attack the people. And these and these people never, like, go back on anything, anything they say. Like, seriously, if I, if I say something stupid and, like, someone points it out to me, like, can you just, like, I don't know. Fuck. I just, I just wouldn't want to continue doing this if I wasn't able to admit that I was wrong about shit. <sighs> Can we normalize admitting when we're wrong, please? Normalize it? For, for the people that she's trying to suck up to don't like. She will gladly destroy what she calls friendships with other creators just for the sake of getting more clout with the fans of bigger creators who don't like them. That's who I she mean, is. Like that, I mean, you're, you're turning around and making and making a claim there, Bad Empanada. You're going to need to bring up some receipts for that. I haven't seen evidence of that, only seen evidence that she is a lib who hangs out in lib circles... Um, and she's found her audience, and parasocial streamers are shaped as much by their audience as their audience is shaped by them. Like, honestly, like, how many videos have I watched on this channel um, from the things you guys have suggested? Like, how can that not influence a uh, a content creator's political views? It, it, it will always, to some extent, influence it. You need to be, like, aware of that when you're talking about her, but about streamers, uh, aware of the relationship, the dialectical relationship between the streamer and their uh, and their viewers, because it's not a one-way street. It's not one way with this shit. It's it, it's two ways. Mm. If you want to talk about someone liking Stalin, there is more evidence for Keffels having been a massive lover of Stalin than there ever is for me. Let's just fucking show you. Oh shit, what's this photo, Keffels? Who's that in the background? Joseph Stalin. Oh no, what's that? What's that book? Fraud, Famine and Fascism by Douglas <coughs> Toddle, a book that specifically claims that the Holodomor genocide idea was created by the yeah, Nazis. I'd like to, I, shit, I would love an explanation of this picture. I mean, obviously, it's a picture that can be taken out of context. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to simply accept what uh, Bad Empanada, um, Bad Empanada's opinion of this, uh, this, this, this picture is just on the face of it. This, all this, all this is is a person standing in front of stuff. Don't know who it belongs to and all of that. But uh, I, I would love to have an explanation. Yeah, uh, that would be great to. I, I would I would love to hear more about that. What's that. Who's that? Is that you? Oh, wow. It would be a bit weird if she's projecting her views onto her previous views onto me by lying about supposed private conversations we had that we never had. Wouldn't it, Keffels? You lying snake piece of shit. He defends a lot of what Stalin does more than he's willing to say publicly because it's an optics nightmare. Oh, but well, let's talk about Ukraine. You're no! I'll fucking call for receipts! Come on! Don't just let that stand. Who is she talking to? Some random dude? Talk the about fuck? Ukraine. Because I've never... Why would you talk about Ukraine? Because you made a claim about my video, which was specifically about the Holodomor genocide question, being the question of whether the Holodomor was an intentional targeted genocide of Ukrainians. And that's why you would talk about Ukraine. You lied about my video. You lied about it. And in order to try and justify it, you're, you're trying to shift the topic to something else, being Stalinist ethnic deportations, which is not what my video was about. You made the claim about me. You specifically made the claim about my video. Should I play the clip again to remind Mind you for good measure? Sure, why not? Let's do it. Empanada's channel, one of his most popular videos <coughs> is him defending Stalin's mass murder and ethnic cleansing and genocide.
So, uh, the Holland of Moor was not a ethnic cleansing. It it just wasn't. Of all the things the Holland of Moor was, um, it was a fucking disgusting. Um, I mean, like you could, yeah, it should be. It should be labeled as a genocide. It should be. Um, I I I'm not in the camp that thinks genocide should be um, relegated simply to intent. Like, I think that if the result is what happened, um, there was there was the intent to care more about the country's self-image and also of things other than human lives. So, like, there was some form of intent there. Um, I would, I think it should be called a genocide, and therefore, um, all the Western nations should be culpable for their various genocides over the years. And the only reason the Holodomor isn't called a genocide, and Bad Empanada goes into this in his video on the, the Holodomor, the only reason it's not called a genocide is because then they would have to fucking bring all of the Western nations to the table for war crimes, uh, war, war crimes uh, tribunals. That's it, because it would it would screw with uh, the Western hegemonic uh, power structure. That that is the one reason. <sighs> Mental. But yeah. Look at the fucking smirk on her face as she says this. She's borderline laughing. She knew it was a lie, and now she's backed him to a corner because she has to defend the lie by deflecting and pretending she was talking about something. Why do you why do you have to make it like um that she knew that it was a lie this whole time, as if it's some sort of like, oh she knew all about this, you know, all along. It's like just let the facts stand for themselves, dude. Like, don't let your ego get in the way of like the truth. Because you don't need to fucking paint her as some, like, crazy, manipulative liar. <clears throat> you can just point out the obvious and move on. Ah, oh, It's so cringe. Stop being yes. cringe. But if you look at my channel, you look at the videos on my channel about Stalin, there is yeah, one. Yeah, it's all true, it's but stop being cringe about, about it, dude. So obviously it was about Ukraine, it was about the whole <coughs> That's why you're being asked about it, you lying snake. You pathetic, lying snake. Talentless unemployable lying snake all that you can do is stream drama all that you can do is chat with random people on twitter D dude she's got a job what i don't understand that as an insult unemployable is that is that like a latin american thing maybe uh, you know with sophistry providing genocide zero well it's currently in it's currently depending on which um framework you use we're in probably uh stage two or stage three of a genocide right now um Although, if you're wanting to see a um, a genocide that is much more in progress, have a look at uh, India and uh, the current genocide going on uh, against uh, Muslim people. Um, it is scary over there. It is basically, effectively, it's base. It, it's the um, we're looking at uh, like 1930s Germany levels of uh, of uh, genocide right now. Um, they are starting to remove citizenship, put people in camps, all of that sort of uh, lovely fun stuff. Um, but yeah, we're we're not we're not as far along with the genocide of trans people, but we're getting there. Just wait. Well, I mean, they're already putting it. They they are putting us. They are trying to in countries like America. Some states are starting to create um, registers of uh, trans people. Uh, I think Britain's going is currently in the process of doing that as well. <clears throat> um yeah we 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 are moving towards we we are, we are in the process of genocide right now yes um and just remember whenever someone says um it's not a real genocide um until bodies start falling i'm sorry but like genocide is the intent to destroy to um destroy or remove a particular group um through, uh, mur you know, the mass killing or medical, um, mass killing, medical, like, all of these things, like, and I, and I consider cultural genocide a genocide as well. You know, fuck the UN, like, the UN, um, definitions of genocide are in place and written in such a way that Western nations can't be held culpable for all of the things that they're continually doing and have done in the past. 
um, if we consider genocides, if we reframe, uh, rewrote uh, the UN definitions to include uh, things which should be considered genocides, um, then all Western nations would be on tribunal for war crimes. Um, yeah. We're at a point with trans people and genocide where we should be um, actively looking to stop it. But we're not. So, yeah. We're just going to get worse and worse until the bodies start falling, um, at which point it will be too late for trans people because then uh, libs will be on the chopping, chopping block and they'll be caring more about themselves than uh, minorities, as is what always happens when it comes to the rise of fascism. Just look at it everywhere. The hegemonic, um, the group that has the hegemonic uh, power, uh, so in the case of the West, that's uh, cisset white people, um, are the ones who are going to take care of themselves and the minorities are going to get it worse than anyone else. That's just what happens. It always happens. Uh, and we haven't seen a country which hasn't fallen into this yet. So, yay. Good luck, trans people. But yeah, um, definitely I think it's very important to pay attention to what's going on in India right now. Um, lobby your uh, local government to and and your you know federal members and all that email them constantly um, talking about um, uh, you know treatment of refugees and uh, the intake of refugees for Muslim re refugees from um, uh, Indian uh, Indian uh, states. Um, that that's that's something you can do, and obviously with transgender people like. Again, lobbying your government, that's all you can do. And make friends with your neighbours and create connections that don't require government assistance and just help people on a person-by-person -person basis. Like, do what you can when you can, if you can. <sighs> ...evidence for any of your claims while you play fucking video games. And let me just take a second here to talk about these streamers. I, I do what totally I want. They are totally screwed. In a couple of years, they're totally screwed. Because what they rely on is basically exploiting a very niche group of teenagers to early 20s people who are basically haven't even started their lives yet they all most of them have pretty much no life whatsoever so they need like a parasocial streamer and that community to attach themselves to and she relies on people like that basically stealing their mother's credit card and donating their money to her that's where her income comes from it is incredibly ex i definitely disavow you stealing your parents credit card and giving me money exploitative you know you watch my actually don't, definitely don't do that don't do that only 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 give me money if you can afford it please because i make videos that talk about specific topics. I refute bad political and historical arguments. I make original historical and political arguments. And I back them up with exhaustive evidence. What does Keffels do? She sits there playing video games or talking to her chat and starting drama with whoever the fuck she can manage. So that yeah, the young job, people dude. who she's misleading into thinking that she's their friend, rather than someone just taking money from them, can uncritically defend her no matter what. It's a total joke. These streamers, their days are numbered. What are you going to do when you're like 35 years old? And the completely esoteric videos that you make about streamer drama can't pull in any more new viewers because no one fucking knows what they're about. No one understands it and you don't actually cover any topic topics of any consequence or meaning that someone who just happens upon your videos would even remotely understand. It's not going to happen. Anyway, so yeah, that's her lying again. Let's watch how this video ends. Watch how it goes. It ends with her basically running away. Brought up Ukraine okay. in any of my positions. You were talking about on your channel, on your channel, you were talking yes. about his video on You were talking about that video and said in that video explicitly that he was defending genocide and mass murder. You said in your clip, Mm -hmm. Clip that Ruka posted, Twitter user Ruka, Twitter user, she's Stalin, then qrt and then you qrt would say it's called growth. You said the video, the clip of you speaking was you saying right. committed genocide and mass murder in Ukraine. I never so said the words. I never said. Oh, you lying piece of shit! We can all see that you reference my one video on Stalin, which you claim defended ethnic cleansing and genocide. You lying piece of shit! Can you imagine her trying to talk to me about the Holodomor on her stream? Can you imagine someone walking around in a video game while I like actually cite the sources have, that I have yes. memorized on the topic? <laughs>
This is why, you know, instead of coming to me to talk about this topic, you know, the person directly who this, who this is directly relevant to and who she knows knows about it, she sought out like random 20 follower Twitter accounts because she knows she cannot hang. She knows she's not intelligent enough. She knows she's not capable of actually defending the things that she believes because she doesn't know why she believes them. Well, I know why she believes them. It's because it pays more. That's why her views change. Her views completely change and de-radicalize the second that she got an itty bit of 15 minutes of fame in the mainstream media. That's what it's all about. But the words Ukraine, I was not talking about Ukraine. Lying piece of shit. Okay. That's what the whole, that, but that, that, that's what the Holodomor is. Did, what? I wasn't talking about Ukraine. You mentioned the video talking about a, a mass deaths in Ukraine and in the Soviet Union. That, that's, that's what those videos are about. This is why I don't think she's watched them or know anything about them uh, past what's been posted on the Vorsh subreddit. I, I I honestly think that. You just be able to give me a sec. <sighs> okay. This is where she she bails out. She was just looking for an excuse to bail because she knows that she could not justify anything that she was saying here. I I ended the call. That was weird. That was weird. Nothing about that was weird. You got called out for a claim that you made that you have since backtracked and move the goalposts to be something completely different. And now you're justifying it by making up private conversations that we supposedly had. You know, you could at least give me the courtesy of getting one of your friends to make a fake account that you claim- This is another one of those weird things about Bad Empanada. He's making some assumptions here, like she didn't ever say that, uh, that these were conversations that she had with him. She said that in private, um, you talk about those things, which is obviously not true, but still. You seem to, like, you seem to be, you're very good at picking through historical data and finding the sources and doing actual, actual, like, academic work, but I don't think you're really good at interpersonal communication and understanding what people are talking about, um, uh, compared to what they actually mean, um, which matters when you're making those sorts of claims. Yeah. Yeah is me and have a conversation a fake conversation with them about stalin and fudge the dates a little bit at least See, there's some like a fake conversation to them about stalin that was never what she said like it was a, it, she was absolutely wrong agreed but that's not what she said that's not what she was wrong about either like mm. yeah some effort into your lies please this is fucking <sighs> unhinged like what's wrong with you for someone who constantly attacks others with ableism who constantly attacks others for you literally just said unhinged come on dude like in literally traits, what you just did belittles others for having disabilities for supposedly having mental health issues that that, that you have the audacity to act like this to act like a, like a straight up gaslighting abuser who claims that someone is your friend when they've never been your friend while straight up lying about supposed private conversations that you've had with them which we can scroll right through the chat logs which i've just scrolled through to show that it's a lie what a fucking liar i have demonstrated kefels in the Oh no, looks like if different people have different opinions and see different circumstances through different lenses. <gasps> oh dear. Ah. This drama is so cringe and hilarious, I love it. Make more. Videos Make more! Be the most pathetic liar imaginable. She deserves whatever- I need to consume- shit she gets as a result of this. She brought this on herself. She brought this on herself? Fucking- if you're going to bring up gaslighting in your conversation and then end the video with she brought this on herself? My dude. Ah. Uh. I asked you at the beginning of the video, please don't make yourself sound like a creep. Please. Like, seriously, oh, she brought this on herself, like, that is the fucking bullshit. Oh, funny tweet by Andrew Tate, I, su I suggest hidden, looking at the hidden replies. Oh, dear. I'll do that in a sec, I do need to take a quick break. So don't go anywhere. Or do, either way, though, I will be back after these short announcements, and, uh, I don't know if there'll be more pointless drama, but... I'll look at those tweets. I am interested in this, the Vorsch's criticism, because uh, this this will 
show it for me, like, to see uh, what her opinion is on Vorsch, because I am interested in that. All right. Uh, and then that, that was seven months ago. I didn't realize she'd had a YouTube channel up that long. All right. Be right back. And we're back. Andrew Tate. Romania is a communist country. Zero evidence and zero proof, only suspicions. They will lock you, lock you in jail and try to find you guilty of things. Of things. They will then waste your life as they fail, release you years later, and not even apologize. What does that got to do with communism again? <laughs> Wait, there's hidden replies? Lol. Oh my gosh, he, he hidden- Oh! I didn't know this was a thing on, on Twitter. These are replies hidden by him himself. He saw these and he hid them. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, fuck yes. What is this? Oh. Amazing. No one's no one can uh, ratio him though. That's hilarious. My gosh, ninety two point five k likes is a lot. But still working. <laughs> Wait, I thought that Tate hates bots. I don't understand. So this one here, let me see. A video I found where Vosh was talking about me, his criticisms that he had about me, as well as some advice that he had. I found it Ew. on the Coconut Island website. Vosh did not, as far as I know, website. upload it. Coconut Island website. How old? I'm older than her and I don't refer to things like that. What the fuck? It Sorry. On his main channel. It was uploaded Small onto a fan channel, and I thought it would yeah. be good to address it, especially because for some reason there is this assumption that I am not capable of taking criticism. I I think it's it's wrong. Like I have my guard up a lot of the time, but I'm definitely willing to take criticism. I'm hesitant about where the criticism comes from because not all criticism is good faith, right? So. With someone like Vosh, who has been on my side through a lot of really shitty things that have happened to me in the past couple months, I take it more seriously than I would, say, Destiny or someone who is part of Destiny's community. Listen, I like Cuffles. I think she's funny. I like her go-getter attitude. But man, does she get her hands... Is it just me, or is everyone on the internet right now? Like, did, did seven months ago, did we all start talking like we're fucking 50 years old or something? Her go-getter attitude. Oh, yes. What the fuck? Dirty. I mean, she really... It's like she can't resist. She sees people shit-talking her and she has to engage. And she doesn't have enough restraint sometimes. That is what I wanted to talk about. What I wanted to say is that I agree <sighs> with this. I'm a very impulsive person. That has been something that people have always said about me and something I've always known about myself. And I think it's it's been particularly bad because of all of the harassment towards me in the past couple months, which really puts me on edge. And it makes me less likely to think that people are trying to engage with me in good faith. Because a lot of people do not actually try to engage with me in good faith. They basically only want to engage with me if they think they can turn it into some sort of slap fight. She gets herself into more trouble down the line. I tell you, one of the most valuable skills that I ever learned as a commentator is to not, yeah, exactly, is to genuinely not care what other people had to say about me, like in a fundamental sense, you know? This is how you have to respond to cyberbullying. Well, I mean, yeah, if you if you, if you you advocate for child pornography and, um, and sexually assault your uh, pet lizard, um, then, yeah, like, you would have to not care what other people think about you, otherwise, you fuck, your life's over at that point. Or whatever. I totally agree with this, and it's something that I'm trying to work on in the future. I made the decision that, from this point forward, I'm not going to get any- I mean, there, yeah, I agree that with that on a basic level, but, like, you need to be able to accept the fact that, you know, 
child pornography is a bad thing and and, and you, you should probably care what other people think when it comes to that maybe conflicts with other content oh. creators i'm still going to get into conflicts with people like ben shapiro or matt walsh or candace owens or other right-wing pundits and commentators okay seven minutes seven seven uh seven months down the line and uh Keffels is doing more doing more to attack um other leftists and minorities Fucking hell. who have a lot of power and who actively use the power that they have in order to hurt the trans community but <sighs> Seven months, huh? What have we done? Who has she uh, interacted with in the last seven months? Uh, who has had that audience? Let's have a look. All right. Let's have a look. So, ah, oh, here we go. Florida, well, uh, da, 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 the left can't meme. Very nice. Roasting your unpopular opinions with Jay Aubrey. Um, so she made the quartering have a meltdown. Yeah, well, I guess she has. She has been uh, reaching peace. You, uh, you are a demon. Something has to change. Oh yeah, then it was the Kiwi Farm shit. Yeah, well, yeah. Got to give the give her props for that. Um, Keemstar, yeah, yeah, no, absolutely, 100%. She is definitely um, using her platform to attack people who are trying to hurt the trans community. Yeah, she's 100% right here. But I think one thing which Vosh might not be completely aware of because it's outside of his lived experiences. So he's probably not really thinking about it. But whenever I get into any conflict at all, my replies get filled with incredibly vitriolic transphobic shit. Like even the comments on this video, for instance, is full of people like saying trans women are not biological women. There's 41% jokes. There's other like transphobic shit in the comments. A lot of the worst parts seem to have been taken down by whoever runs the channel. I don't think that the transphobia, for instance, in the comments of this Vosh fan channel are coming from Vosh's community. Community. I think that the transphobia from the comments in this fan channel are coming from other parts of the internet. And anytime I get into any sort of conflict with another content creator, no matter how mild it is, by the way, this sort of thing happens. It really makes me have to put my guard up and it makes me a bit more hyper vigilant than I would actually like to be. Because with someone like Vosh, if he gets into a conflict with someone, he's just getting the standard bullshit, right? But with me, I get everything that Vosh would get, but then multiply that by a factor of three because I'm trans. And I think that is something that a lot of people are not really factoring in when they're thinking about like, why does Keffel's behave the way she does when you're a content creator you know you choose what you expose yourself to if if the comments are negative towards you don't read the comments you know no he's he's completely right my accounts grew exponentially in the last couple months and i am now just learning that you cannot read all the comments it is actively harmful oh to yeah yeah health. yeah it does get a lot of harassment. yeah they, uh, look, uh, that's another thing that need to understand like she just fucking exploded in popularity in a very short amount of time harassment, but i agreed that the transphobia makes it worse for you oh absolutely i know he gets a lot of harassment he gets an insane amount of harassment but i think that for instance if vosh was trans it would be significantly worse justified harassment justified harassment and i i think that people need to like <laughs> sorry um i I mean, like, I I absolutely disavow um, harassing um, people who support child pornography and um, bestiality and uh, want me to die because I disagree with them. Like, I, I definitely disavow you going and, um, and uh, yeah, definitely don't um, um, spew hate at people who want me dead for disagreeing with them. When people are like coming at me and are saying, why does Keffels behave this way? I don't think they're realizing how mm. much I have to put my guard up because anytime this sort of conflict happens, I face the brunt of it. I'm still learning. I feel like every day and every week that goes by, I'm learning a bit more <laughs> on how to properly deal with these sort of situations. Do you feel that Vosh is coming at you here? No, no, not at all. I genuinely do not think that Vosh is a bad person. And I've even defended him in the past because Vosh is testing the waters to see if you'll play ball with him and whether he'll allow you to have a platform on Twitch, basically. He wants to see... Vosh wants to see if you're going to, um... Uh... Vosh wants to see if you're... Wait, did she... Did, did she fucking... Huh? Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Blah, 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 blah. So if people on how to properly deal with I missed sort of something. Do you feel that Vosh is coming at you here? No, no, not at all. I genuinely do not think that Vosh is a bad person.
Oh, goodness me. And I've even defended him in the past because of people trying to say that he is like inherently a transphobic person who wants to hurt well, yes, trans he people, is. which I don't, yes, I don't think is. that's true at all. He's Well, yeah, he, he wants me to kill myself. Keffels, he wants me to kill myself because I disagree with him, so... Cool. Good job. Been incredibly supportive of me in the past couple months, especially through getting doxxed. He was there for me, like, reaching out almost every day. And that's not something that I can say for a lot of other people in the commentator sphere. You learn from your mistakes, but let's be real. We've discovered that you can say that about Bad Empanada. He literally, um... He literally found that one of the he literally identified one of the one of the doxes and um and contacted her about it. You've already, yeah, defending him in the past, yeah, gross. I mean, like defending the, him in the past, I can understand, but like continuing to support him, I I just no. Even seven months ago, like gross. But again, like seriously, you need to understand that if she says anything bad about Vorsch. Like, imagine how, like, careful she has to fucking use her words here. Like, listen, read past the words she's saying and listen to how she's saying it. Um, and how careful uh, she's actually wording these things. Because she is dealing with someone who could literally ruin her career. Like, that's, that's, that is the imbalance here. There is a coercive element in this situation. So, love or hate Keffels, she, 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 honestly, she's fucking fine. Like, I don't have an issue with Keffels as a person. She's doing, she's, she's, she's got the bag, how she does it. She's, she's into lib shit, and, like, that's okay. Uh, until she starts attacking, um, minority leftists and doing dumb shit like the bad empanada drama. Vorsch has been bad for a long time, but so but but like I said, he is the he is the Harvey Weinstein of the streaming community. You don't make it as a woman, especially a trans woman, unless you agree with Vorsch and tell say that uh, he's a good person. Like you can't have a career. It's just not viable right now. Until enough people sort of speak up about it, but they're not here twitter comments twitter replies that's not real criticism when finally someone irl takes him to court for um whatever um alleged sexual abuse that he may may or may not have committed like in real life and not online um it's going to continue this way overwhelmingly that's just like derision it's just hatred we'll see if she calms down Keffels needs to step back, clear ahead, make peace with people, she's unfair to them, back away from debate stuff, she's stuck in fire herself, that's frustrating, because she has genuine complaints about people platforming her. I wanted to address this specifically, because this comment's coming from President Sunday, Keffels honestly needs to step back, clear her head, make peace with people she was unfair to, and then back away and from debate. Like, this is it, like, this is what, th th like, again, read what she's focusing on read what she's like the carefulness the re look through read between the lines basically like the 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 fact that she has to um bow down to um Vorsch is a given here like she can't say anything bad about him um so she's so hopefully she's going to use other people to uh, talk about the criticism she actually has about the space in a clever way because it looks like this is one of the things, like, this is one of the things, like, you know, President Sunday, another, another, like, President Sunday, uh, is, is, uh, hold on. Is this just another soggy white guy? Then, uh, yeah. Okay. Just another soggy white guy. Just another soggy white guy. Okay. Um, whether they're white in real not real life or not, um, if they're, if they're using an icon of a white guy in a top hat and a suit. Yeah, I'm going to make assumptions from that. Um, happy to take the L if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, notice, this is something that Kefels has to deal with a lot. People on, I, I, I don't know President Sunday's affiliations, but I heard that they're left wing but I, I don't know i thought i i'm pretty sure i reacted to one of their videos which they seemed like a fucking chud to me but like maybe i don't maybe i don't know that maybe i don't know what i'm talking about so many people in this space that i that that i don't care about and president sunday is one of them
Um, but yeah, she's stoking the fire herself, and it's frustrating because she has gen- genuine complaints about people harassing, platforming her harassers. Yeah, but I mean, like, here's the thing: when, when we're talking about her harassing her harassers, right? Um, she's becoming a light, light. She she's effectively becoming a lightning rod to criticism. Um, from these uh, right wingers, right, and that's something that um, I would like to be able to do to take to take the heat away from um, other trans people and other minorities who were fucking suffering under this shit. Um, so I've got nothing against her trolling um, her harassers. Like fucking go for it. I definitely disavow doxing her harassers. I definitely disavow uh, telling them to get, you know, Roblox. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I disavow. It's stuff. She's stoking the fire herself, and it's frustrating because she has genuine complaints <sighs> about people platforming her harassers. I absolutely 100% agree with President Sunday's sentiment here, and I am backing away from debate stuff. I think the debate sphere, unfortunately, is an incredibly toxic place, and I, oh, yeah. I can't engage in it. I think the problem with the debate sphere that's specifically fair. is that it involves platforming people that you absolutely should not talk to. Because if you only talk to people who you somewhat agree with, that's boring content. But getting a leftist and someone who unironically identifies as a fascist in the same room and to duke it out, that's great content that's incredibly fun to watch so i get why it's the way that it is i just don't think it'll ever be a place that i can comfortably be a part of without people coming at me in a use it until you get big and then fucking abandon the fash do it now use them for clout and then once you get big enough um leave them in the dust that, that that's that's that to me that's good praxis but or not praxis but i guess good uh, business sense really really bad way another thing specifically with president sunday it's a little weird that he specifically is saying this to me or saying this about me because he has an entire playlist of keffel's drama videos on his youtube channel i think it's up to five videos so i don't understand like does he legitimately want to see the best for me or does he want to make content about me in one of his thumbnails he uh, made up a fake quote that i said that i want to destroy people's lives for no reason which i don't even know how to address that about people platforming harassers yes i do agree that keffel's has very legitimate concerns that are undermined somewhat by the way in which she expresses them. Um, of course, I don't think that justifies ignoring the concerns, but, you know, we all we all hope for people to do the best. Like, I agree with Vosh here. I think, like, one of the biggest problems was that after the fight that I had with Destiny, I got an intense harassment campaign against me. They, they doxed my mom. And you gotta remember as well, like, the she, like Destiny is the old Weinstein of the left <clears throat> before um, Vosh t- took his place. Um, and also, Destiny was platforming her and not the other way around. You need to understand like the difference difference in um, the amount of power that these people have. They harassed me relentlessly, documenting like everything I did online. They docked several of my Twitch mods. I don't want to name names or go into it because I don't want to give it any more attention. I really want to move on. But needless to say, it was incredibly bad for a period of several months. And the hypervigilance from that situation, it made me lash out at people who I don't think deserved it. For instance, with what happened with Hippy Dippy and Dylan Burns, I do not think that Dylan Burns specifically deserved the treatment that he got from me. I was really upset about platforming people who were friends with Dylan Burns has no fucking idea when it comes to talking about trans issues. Like, I couldn't watch... I, I had to stop watching um, Dylan Burns' content because I, I was... It was just... Crin- I was cringing so fucking hard at his um, coverage of uh, trans... Like, every time that he got into a debate about trans people, it was it was the most... Like, he, he he was just like, uh, some of the things he said, he's just like, oh, yeah, I think that sometimes it's uh, environmental and sometimes it's bio- it's it's biological. It's just like, where, where are you getting this fucking information from, dude? Like, <laughs> just, just the way he spoke about transgender people without any sort of uh, scientific back, back, any sort of uh, scientific consensus backing up anything he said it was just so frustrating to listen to yeah that if you if you if you want to know why i cringe at dylan burns just look at his old uh, any any debate any what the fuck was dead oh a bit spot Hmm. Hmm. 
I need to know. I need to know. Da 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 people who helped dox my family. And I let my anger get to me. And I aimed it at Dylan because he was the person who hosted <sighs> that show. Wholesome book. I think there was a cascading effect happening where because of all of the terrible things that happened to me over the past couple months, I was so on edge that I ended up taking it out on people who do not deserve it. Dylan is complicit in this shit by helping to create the environment. You can argue that. And I think there's an argument yeah, to be- D Dylan, Dylan definitely like profits from that environment, but like, did he like fall off or something? Like, cause I don't really hear about the hippy dippy just like from anywhere but like, um, the the fucking rock spiders, basically of the, of, of uh, the internet. So hearing what Dylan said about Afghanistan, and the U.S., he wasn't someone that she would like to listen to. Yeah, um, he but yeah, that he he's his his. He is at university right now, studying to become part of the, the hegemony. Like, he wants to work in, like, foreign relations um, for the West, for the American US government. So, like, of course that's what he's going to talk about and say. Ooh, master of refinement made about how the yeah. way youtube algorithms work and twitter algorithms work how conflict and drama get amplified more than anything else i think that's fair did dylan ever apologize i don't need him to apologize i said my piece about the situation i don't want to fight any more other content creators to be honest i think banning xan followers was a bit unnecessary i don't know what the relationship is between keffels and xander hall it might have been keffels just sort of obliquely associated xander hall with groups that she didn't like i don't know if there's a personal dislike yeah, Zan, I, I I suspect there's not a personal dislike. That might have been a, just a, a sort of um, a broad shotgun fire. That was chatter misinformation, unfortunately. I never banned Xander Hall from my Twitch channel. To explain what I did, because I thought that it was the best way to create a space for me on Twitch where I could avoid harassment and abuse, was that every single streamer who was an orbiter of Destiny specifically got added to PosadaBot using a script that made it so any of their followers, if they hit the follow button, they instantly got banned. I have since disabled... Sorry, I... I... This is a small thing, but sometimes some things happen, and the way she said that... If they hit the follow button... Sorry, this is... that's amazing. I love the way she said that. Using a script that made it so any of their followers, if they hit the follow button, they... Oh no, that sounded fine, fine in slow motion, but I need to hear it in, like, in, 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 in normal speed. Hold on. Using a script that made it so any of their followers, if they hit the follow button, they- <laughs> Sorry, I love the way she said that. Follow button. No. no. No shade. I just love that. That sounded cute. <laughs> instantly got banned. I have since disabled that bot because I think I went overboard with it. I think it's button. best to just let people say- Hit the follow button. Don't forget to fill hit the follow button. I'm not- I'm not making fun. I just love- Sometimes I hear the way th people say things, I hear- things in it and it I, it just activates the serotonin in my brain and i love it so like no shade their piece and move on was it disabled <sighs> but the bot is still being used as our moderation bot on this channel but, but it's no longer banning people from any channels on twitch the bot was too aggressive all right no more canceling keffels because she said button in a really cute way and i think the best way to move forward is to just stop fighting people They'll never escape harassment on here, sorry to say. Yeah, I know. Nah. As long as I am on Twitch as it's a trans person fight, who has though. a very high profile. I think it's okay to fight. I think it's okay to fight and have blood sports as long as you as long as like you are open and like talking about how it's all a fucking show. Like let people in on the kayfabe so that they can enjoy the WWE experience that is the online debate sphere. Like you need to be able to, you need to make sure that your audience knows that none of it is fucking real. It, it, it's not. None of this is real. It's not. Nobody really, nobody really hates any, hates each other. Nobody really cares about this stuff. And the people that do are just taking something which shouldn't be taken seriously serious. And as long as that is a thing, as long as I stay in this position, 
I'm going to get harassed. It's just going to happen. And I can accept that. I just need to learn. I need that. I need that sound effect on my stream. Sorry, that 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 was from um, that was from the Zelda um, Nintendo sixty four Zelda games. I love it. And to let it slide off me. She banned Zan's followers. She banned a lot of people's followers. Funnily, she posted on Twitter about the banning debate bro followers, and my community remained untouched because, of course, I have a good relationship with her. So, not really debate bro communities. I imagine more Destiny adjacent communities. Yeah, he no. got it. It wasn't specifically debate bros. I mean, a lot of them were debate bros, but it wasn't that they were debate bros that made me start banning people. I think one of the problems with all of this is that, due to safety concerns, I have not and still am not able to disclose mm. the extent of how bad things got behind the scenes because if I did that, it would enable harassment against me in the future. I I don't know if you're all familiar with what gray rocking is. It's a technique for dealing with abuse where you do not give attention to the people who are abusing you because they thrive off it. They want to see you feel hurt. The best thing that you can do when you are the target of online hate is to just not care. It's basically a Chinese finger trap. If you try and pull really hard, you're never going to get out of it. If you be calm and pull your fingers out slowly, you'll get out of the trap easily. The video was over, but I, I had a lot more to say. That's if you want to get out of the trap. I don't know, I honestly like you can you can get out of the trap and like because if the if it's not like if it's not healthy for you then yeah a hundred percent um you should not be expected to um have to deal with any kind of abuse um unless you want to um like I I I don't really care I'm happy to follow the clap train wherever it takes me. <laughs> say on this topic, but on the topic of harassment and why I specifically banned all of the Destiny adjacent streamers from the chat and Orbiters of Destiny, it was because he was incredibly horrible to me. He and the circles around him, they said and did things that would absolutely, they, it's, if he did not have the platform he did and the people surrounding him that he did, he would probably get harassed off the internet for how poorly he behaved. You know how I was saying earlier that whenever no, I get into a fight online with another content creator, it attracts a lot of transphobic vitriol from outside of their community? Well, the thing is, Destiny is very close with Lauren Southern, and Destiny is also very close with Nick Fuentes. You can argue whether or not they're friends, but the fact that they're on speaking terms and their communities intermingle is very apparent to anyone who is paying attention. So getting into a fight apparent or apparent with him means that it's alerting fascists and members of the alt-right, big alt-right internet commentators that have hundreds of thousands of people paying attention to them. So anytime a trans person engages with him, those communities follow. I have tried for a long time to just not talk about it, but I think that in this given situation, situation, it's very apt. He's explicitly friends with Lauren Southern. That doesn't surprise me. Destiny encouraged his community to laugh at me for admitting to being taken advantage of by a pedophile when I was a child. He said it was tempting to make 41% jokes about me. And his wife, Melina, liked a Lauren Southern tweet where she said ratios will never make you a woman. And when confronted about it, she basically said that transphobia is acceptable if you don't like someone. This is all, this is very, this is all true. This is absolutely true. She accused me of removing her husband's income, despite the chat logs from Destiny's website show Destiny talking about the reasons for his Twitch ban. None of those reasons mention my name. Like, it's literally all just made up. I'm not going to continue banning people from the channel, but anyone who defends that community is someone I do not want to associate with. I'm incredible. You know, like, I wish that you could extend that, um, that kind of vitriol towards, um, Vosh community, which is, like, becoming just as toxic. I don't know why people can't see this shit. You know, it happened to Destiny, it's happening to Vosh, it's happening with Xanderhal, happening- Like, every one of these, like, big brain centrist lib- Well, leftist lib, like, streamers who support, um, fascism in America, um, pretending- pre Using leftist aesthetics to make money on Twitch, um, is doing the same thing. It's just doing the same, going down the same road as, um, as, uh, Destiny, you know, like, it's not long until Nick Quentes is gonna be friends with Vorsch, as Vorsch tries to, you know, convert, convert the, the fascist across when what's really happening is, like Keffels has, uh, stated, like, those communities will start intermingling, and any trans person that disagrees with Vorsch or, uh, Destiny or any of these people are going to get immediate harassment from literal neo-Nazis. Fun.
incredibly suspicious of anyone who associates with that community online because it means that they're willing to ignore a lot of very horrendous shit that absolutely would not be acceptable to any normal human being. And I think like an example of the differences between Vosh's community and Destiny's community was how this situation played out. The day on Twitter where I tweeted like really early in the morning, I'm talking like 3, 4 a.m., that I had to wake my mom up really early to get her to deactivate her social media accounts because people were actively trying to dox both of us and information that could be used to dox us was on her accounts and public. Vosh's response oh, to that yeah. was to reach out and ask me if I'm all right. Destiny's response, however, was him retweeting onto his Twitter timeline a reply on that tweet that said, why don't you just ratio the doxers? I think it's really night, or di night and day how you see that situation play out. And It's really night or di night and day <sighs> how you see that situation That's play out gross. and realize like to 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 yeah be a be a white per white guy retweeting a white guy using the n word uh yeah cool like if anyone thought that destiny that said, had any leftist ideals the doxers. I think it's really night or di night and day how you see that situation play out and realize there are, there is absolutely no depth that Destiny would sink to. The thing is, the people that orbit him think this is acceptable behavior. They take cues from him. They think that this is a good way to behave on social media and it, as a person. He was laughing about my family getting doxxed. Kefels, there seriously needs to be more laws defining stochastic harassment, terrorism, doxing should be qualified under that. Yeah, the legal system has not caught up to the 21st century. Cyber law no. is a woefully underdeveloped field of law. I'm just lucky that I'm Canadian because if I was American, it would have been so much easier for people to dox me and make my life significantly worse than it is. The downside of this, of course, is that I'm Canadian, which is a huge L. Basically, the most recent thing was just coming to the conclusion. You can't stop internet harassment by fighting back because it's fueled by you having a response to it. As weird as that sounds, you literally need to let people harass you because if you're not interesting to harass and don't give them a response, it's not fun. Tips number one and two, if you're not a Yeah, but you can you can harass you, you basic the other the other way that uh, I've used in the past is just to make it so not fun to harass me and so like just enjoy myself doing it that uh, they usually give up long before i have bigger do not show your face or say your real legal name yeah no there's a lot of ways that people are not very safe when it comes to cybersecurity. so many people are so haphazard with the information that they put online i've seen this happen multiple times people who use a really old twitter account that they used to post personal things on for years that they then end up using as an account for advocacy or activism or making content because then what inevitably happens is if people get mad at you and want to dig up dirt about you they'll just start searching through your account if you have anything in there that can be taken out of context it absolutely will be taken out of context Context. What I would suggest to anyone dealing with harassment online is to look up the gray rock method. The gray rock method involves communicating in an uninteresting way when interacting with abusive or manipulative people. The name gray rock <sighs> refers to how those using this approach become <sighs> unresponsive, similar to a rock. Yeah. The but yeah. technique involves avoiding interactions with the abusive person, keeping unavoidable interactions brief, giving short or one word answers to questions and communicating in a factual, unemotional way. The aim is to cause the abusive person to... Yeah, one, one, one of the ones that... When I get bored of a conversation with the fascist, usually I just reply with lol to everything that they respond with and then they give up. It works. To lose interest and stop their antagonistic behavior to protect a person's emotional well-being. That's just how you always communicate. It's not how I normally communicate. I'm a very emotional person. I'm a very expressive person. But I'm learning how to do this in the face of bullshit for my self-preservation and being able to move forward with what I'm doing. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, that doesn't really say anything about her connection to Vosh. But, like, yeah, it makes sense that she wouldn't um, say anything out vo about Vosh. Because, as, like I said, no one who speaks out against Vosh has a platform. Um, unless they're a cishet white man. Um, yeah. Not much more I can say about that. Is sure? <sighs> communism in Romania. Fucking lol. But yeah, like, everyone's like seeming to... Wait, is she... Is she responding to a video or is she like, debating them? This guy's response... Just have a look at the comments before we watch the video. And there's a reason... Oh, I'm... are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I've watched this video. I've reacted to this video. I know exactly which video she's reacting to. I'll tell you in a bit. Jesus fucking Christ, the aggression in her tweet. I don't see how people cannot see through such relentless, extreme language. It's a red flag, and I think there's a word for it, but I can't think of it. Oh well. She couldn't just casually hate Bosch. It needs. 
fake. It was fabricated by a conservative pundit who wanted to pretend that Lenin hated debate. And, and here's something specific of a million dollars for trans charities. I've spoken at public events. I've bother mass reporting trans activist accounts they tend to focus on popular cis I'm allies sorry. or popular trans people themselves i want to draw your attention back to this comment on the video the aggressive tone being described here is not something that you can take from words on the screen that is sophie's tweet however xander hall seems to be trying out for an oscar here his fans are belligerent obnoxious creepy chuds who harass and shame other content creators for expressing any disagreement with him in ways no other's community no other creator's community ever does ever does so when Zan first stops reading the tweets in this hilariously villainous way he says that by the way Nothing here makes sense. He's clearly trying to paint her as having a breakdown and being unintelligible. This is something that we see debate bros do a lot, especially when they're attacking trans people who criticize them, trans women specifically. And okay, I don't think I've seen this video. This video seems interesting. This is to paint the idea that they're pushing too far in their politics and they spend too much time online and don't really have much interaction in the outside real world. This couldn't be further from the truth and not just in most of the trans women that debate bros send for online, but Sophie in particular. She has literally two videos here of her going and speaking at trans rights protests. This is more activism than I've seen from literally any fucking debate bro. So talking about bad faith. Bosch organized an entire canvassing thing. They're lumping me in with the debate crowd. I raised like a quarter of a million dollars for trans charities. I've spoken at public events. NGOs is not praxis. I've ran a youth group for trans kids before. Like I've done a lot of shit in the real world. This is bad faith in its entirety. While Zanahol is talking about this, his chat further adds to the narrative that Sophie is a monster, calling oh her a God. psycho amongst all the bad faith arguments. Who is this? No, Sophie? no, it's I know not this video. The Sophie sorry, I know the one that I've spent literal days with, who loves and cares about her friends. She loves and cares about her comrades so much, and is desperate to get people to change the horrific world that we live in. I certainly wouldn't call her a psycho. Wait, Just wait, wait, wait. why okay, is he are, disgusting these are from to her? To the white, what the trans tweet. They're invalidating all these trans testimonials. Let me see. Trans people don't make me, please don't make me regret this. Uh, trans people only who like Vosh. What has he done for you? Not asking to imply anything. I would like to know. I'm not going to reply. Also, with no, uh, so I it help. So these are all wait, 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 wait. She's using, um, free music as well as like, I'm using free music, but I can't afford real music. Hmm. Also, where's the, where's the link to the video? Or even the title of the video. Like, seriously. Uh, I'd be much more interested in hearing what DJ Mule is saying than, like, Kevil's response to it, I'm going to be honest. This guy's response to marginalized people criticizing him is to block them. Dude, you're not trans and you just use us. You use us, you use our community because you want to appear more progressive than you actually are. DJ Mule is the type of person Receipts? to meet up with a right winger in person and then have a fucking meltdown at them, get clipped and get put onto like some right wing TikTok. Like, look at this insane leftoid. That's the type of person DJ Mule is. He will never. So, so, wait. So you're agreeing with the right? What? How? Wait, so you're agreeing with this, this, this imagined right winger? Am I? What? <laughs> what? Never push what are you trying to say here? Just be condescending and think, oh, you're obviously and objectively wrong, and I don't even need to push back because I I am so much smarter than you. And you are so obviously wrong, everyone can see it. But it's like, no, that's not how the world works, dude. Okay, I've watched like one of his videos, and not once has he been like that. He brings it. He brings up receipts for everything he said that I can like remember. So, what? That that's it. That that that's her analysis. That's her intro. What's her what's her uh, en ending for, the, for this Driving shit? Up engagement. Honestly, debate merge. Thanks for getting me almost this kick. Yeah. No. No. It is the video I watched. Xander Hall is not your ally. What's her fucking problem with this video? So, so I'm gonna pin this uh, since there's so many people proving my exact points in the video. The, the, the... This is the response he has. Of the video to leave a comment and just slap. Like no, seriously. Like um um. As far as I can tell, okay. This is this is what I can tell from the outside, not being like in in amongst it. Um, I don't know where this came from, but when he made the video, Xanderhol is not your ally. He's talking about Xanderhol being abusive towards his ex partner, basically, uh, kicking her out of the house. 
um, and um, basically cutting off uh, all of her income while she didn't have a job, and then um, basically gaslighting her by um, telling her she's wrong because she's a fucking drug, because she, she was on heroin, telling her audience about that as well. Uh, telling his audience that she's a heroin addict and all of that sort of stuff. You know, like, really shitty stuff to do when you break up with someone. Like, she was a dependent, and he basically kicked her out into the street. Which, obviously, you know, you shouldn't be, like, obligated to help everyone that you see, but, like, Sanderhold's community turned around and decided that DJ Mule was a gaslighter and was abusive towards Xander Hall because of that video, and this narrative that DJ Mule is some sort of, like, abusive asshole is all rooted in this video where he calls Xander Hall out for being abusive asshole. Is literally just... pretty sure. Unless someone can show me some fucking... Receipts? Unless someone shows me some fucking receipts. Um, I, I, that, 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 that is all I can assume from this. This is such an old video, an old fucking, um, drama as well. Like, this video is, like, from ages ago. Like, she seems to be going through the pipeline of, um, attacking Luna, now she's attacking Bad Empanada, now she's, like, she's going on the anti-left, um, on the anti-left train right now. Fucking hell. Dude. Dude. Although I have to say, it's much easier to attack leftists because we 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 don't we we don't um, uh, harass in the same way that uh, right wingers do. So I guess it's safer to like uh, fuck with people all, on, to the left of you. Cool. Yeah, easy targets, easy targets. She's just picking easy targets. It might not be on purpose, but that's what she's doing. Yeah, um, like the the video he made is really good. Um, and I've reacted to another video that someone else made um, in response to that, which is just like, where the fuck are you getting this information from? I think it was Demon Mama. I think it was Demon Mama. Did I um, did I upload this already? I think I uploaded it already. Hold on. Luna, oi. <coughs> Gosh. This is, this is like from ages ago. No, I've got, I, I've got it here. Catalyst Apologetics, maybe? I don't fucking remember. So this is the video that I reacted to. So this is the video that it was that it was that she's reacting to from four months ago. Fucking hell. I don't know if it'll come up if I put up little fox. Hey, no, no, this is it. This is the one here. Who was who was I reacting to? Sandhole bad, DJ Mule bad. All right, so. This is the response video that I was looking at from. Oh yeah, I don't, I'm I don't know who this was. Like a, um, hack rat, seriously. This is when I was making my uh, Hodus mounts. These things here. They're like. They they they're on they're on um, mounts like uh, TV like monitor mounts that I've like screwed to the table underneath. It's pretty cool. I need to play some games that I actually use them, but um, I'm stuck in this creep. Um, but yeah. Yeah. No, as you can see here, the debate lord Xanderhal tends to actually just focus on drama, which is annoying because you can see from some of his other videos, he's right about some stuff, which is good. But then why does he focus on myopic things like people on Twitter not agreeing with him? Why does he use words like woke scold and cry bully? What do those words even mean? Another thing to be aware well, all those words, there is there is a term for those words. A uh, debate lord from debate pervert, pervertry. Per, pervertry? I look like an idiot. That sounds weird. Yeah, yeah, they, it's called, um, uh, 
fuck. No, I can't remember what it's called. Um, I don't know if I like that one. That one, that, that one doesn't exactly rock. Um, it's called a thought terminating cliche. The thought terminating cliche is basically that they are um, insults throw the in, words used to um, deal with the cognitive dissonance that comes with having beliefs and disagreeing with people who um, conflict with your, your your who say things that conflict with your beliefs um, without having without being holding yourself to the standard of actually listening to the ways that they're challenging their beliefs. Like, I could just turn around and say that um, Keppels is being a cry bully because of the whole Bad Empanada situation, but that would be completely ignoring the fact that Bad Empanada did uh, pressure her into having a conversation that she didn't want to have, which is a legitimate thing that she should have been given the right to um, back out if she wanted to. Like, that, 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 that is a thing. Um, and so... Thought terminating cliches is just calling her a cry bully, or just calling her crazy, or calling, um, I was saying, bad empanada is just a creep. Yeah, that's just coming up with a thought thought terminating cliche to deal with the cognitive dissonance that comes with having a disagreement with someone. Um, it's cult, it's cult shit, and um, you can learn a lot about that. There's a really good book called Cultish. Cultish is written by a um. Someone who studies words, um, not a librarian. Uh, what are they called? Uh, etymologist, I think, or uh, literarian. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it's on Audible. So if you've got an Audible subscription or like a couple of like things spare for that, like you can listen to it, and it's really good. Um, it's read really well as the audio audio book. It's a fantastic listen. Um, I didn't read the book. I li I, I listened to the audio book. But yeah, yeah. Um, I watched this entire video and the response video, and the response video had nothing, absolutely nothing, on DJ Mule as an abuser. So yeah, it's just basically saying it's basically a lot of people turned around to DJ Mule after DJ Mule attacked Xander Hall. Um, another one of the you know the Harvey Weinstein in group of the streaming community. Um, and, uh, turned around and said, no, you, that's it. That was the thought terminating cliche that happened week because D because DJ Mule spoke out against Sander Hall. His fans turned around and said, no, you, and like Keffel said in her video with Vorsch, we just watched in her video where she goes, uh, where she talks about this stuff and find it. Um, in responding to Vorsch's criticism she, criticism, she brings up this point really, really well, that the crossover between Vorsch's community of uh, leftists and also um, really, like, harassing communities, which Vorsch encourages, by the way, Vorsch encourages his community to um, uh, harass other creators, that, especially minority creators that uh, he disagrees with. Like, have a look at the Cat Black uh, stream. It's still up. Seven hours of him molding over Cat Black and uh, saying over and over, over again how she's schizophrenic and that she's obsessed with him for seven hours. Seven hours. Hours. I can't imagine holding someone other than my partner in my head for seven hours. I... Just from start to finish. Like, I can barely keep my concentration, like, on one video for half an hour. But to turn around and say that, that yeah, anyway, that's beside the point. I... Again, I'm getting off the point there. That, 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 that was amazing. But, like, careful, uh, careful's... Um, yeah. This is cringe. She's just jumping on- she's jumping on the, um, anti-tanky, uh, bandwagon. She's diving straight into... <sighs> this stuff. A lot of different opinions within the trans community. And just, like, imagine if you use that in other ways, like, um, like, uh, I don't know, uh, Zionists are telling you that this is discriminatory against Zionists, so you have to accept that. Or something like that, like... We're watching this tomorrow. We're watching this tomorrow. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Cape Star platforming MLs and let oh MLs. Oh. No. Um 
There's topics, there's topics. I feel like where I'm at currently. Bad bunny like drama. Jack Saint drama. Social. Wait, they didn't, what? they didn't, they didn't attack my boy. My, my, my sweet, my sweet Jack Saint. I've had to it's learn over time. underrated skill. Yeah. Chud logic, but his edit like, is like I super fash. And I, I've been getting a lot better at that. Like, I feel like if I were to talk to Keemstar like eight months ago. Who cares? No longer care. Now it's just like I am building a community because I like my community. It's so an echo chamber. <laughs> very hard. Like sorry, doing sorry, the I couldn't help it. Public figure thing, and just dealing with that as an individual. And who cares? Wait, where's they the they Jack Sane stuff? They symbolized. Um, instead of, and I'm guessing that that led. I think that led to a lot of people being really mean to Conjure points. Um, and I'm thinking it le me leads to a lot of people being mean to just in general a lot of public figures when they, you know either make mistakes or do they just are not perfect yeah it sucks because it feels like the more marginalized you are like the more the community does this to you mm -hmm. which is sad because that's the more marginalized you are the more you need that community right it's so they're so fucking close to like some form of like wait wait what the fuck are you talking about aristocracy you're not marginalized in any way Aristocracy isn't trans. She's white. She's white and rich. Like, what is she talking about? What? There is no way in which she is oppressed. Like, her parents, like, paid for all of her, um, all of her stuff to get started. Like, she moved from... Um, I think she's Jewish, but like that's like saying, but saying that that she's um, uh, oppressed for being Jewish is like saying that like I don't know, fucking <sighs> I don't know, I don't know Jewish people. Fuck, I don't know. Like it's like saying that like Kanye West is oppressed for being black while having a different social. <sighs> A different level of financial hege hegemonic uh, power. Like, how is she oppressed as a Jewish person? Like, people don't attack her for being Jewish. People attack aristocracy for being Zionist. Like, the two are different things. Jewish people are historically oppressed, but you can't. You, mm, yeah, okay. Definitely gonna watch this tomorrow. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. It's, it, do you know what it is to me? It's like um, Tim Pool turning around and saying that he's oppressed for being half Asian. Does that make sense? Like, Tim Pool getting angry about uh at someone and almost getting his uh face smashed in by uh <laughs> by someone who was like much more hardcore than him uh she experiences anti-semitism but probably not to the extent of others yeah probably um but yeah i i don't know i i care more i care more about uh jewish people um in um Israel, which who are suffering because of the um, the fucking capitalist government over there, you know, real people who have real problems who are actually like have those issues rather than they're talking about them. Like I would talk about the I, I can talk about um, the rates of homicide against trans women, but I need to preface that by saying that I am not someone. Who is affected by that personally? I am a white, cis passing trans woman. I am not a minority because almost exclusively the trans women who are murdered in the world come from minority communities and have an intersection of poverty plus race uh, to deal with, plus the trans female. All of these things intersecting to make them like black trans women are the mo most oppressed group in the world. Like they 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 have the highest homicide rates, highest domestic abuse, highest like amount of discrimination against them. 
just yeah you got to think about these things like it's it's just it's just uh, like, I, I, I can't listen to someone like uh, Kanye West complain about how he's being oppressed. Um, and in the same way, I, or, or like Tim Pool talk about how he's oppressed for being half Asian. Uh, I can't listen to someone like Aristocracy who doesn't even show their face on screen. Um, they're a VTuber. Like, no shade against v VTubers, but if you're going to try and bring your race into a discussion about your oppression as a, a product which is how I see all of these creators, um, then I, I, I don't really have time to engage with that. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sure there's personal, there's personal problems that you have in your life, but they aren't as important as the people who are actually dealing with um, the intersection of poverty with race um, outside of this bubble, which is the internet. That might sound cruel, but I don't believe that aristocracy, uh, fate, like the product, or Arist I don't really care who she is in real life. I don't know who she is. Um, but it is a little bit rich to hear her talk to a trans woman as if she's like experiencing the same sort of hate as uh, Keffels because aristocracy, uh, aristoc like Keffels has uh, received more hate than I have, more abuse than probably Vorsch has. And uh, had more, and had more attempts on her life than a lot of other content creators. So hearing aristocracy talk about this all buddy chum chum as if she she knows what uh, Kevils went through is laughable to me. The worst aristocracy got is criticism for being a Zionist a Zionist shill. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Opening memes. But yeah. yeah, definitely going to check that out tomorrow. But yeah, um, this whole thing is just so pointless at the end of the day. <laughs> I just hope that people can get some enjoyment about it and not get too angry um, and be chill about it because, like, we are just interacting with people who don't really exist in the same space that we do like you need to separate yourself from the content that you consume um you'll you don't know kevils you'll never know her um you'll never know the more things that she has to go through same with aristocracy i'll never know what uh, aristocracy goes through um in her day-to-day -day life but um yeah all of this is just mental to me but yeah, I think that's um, where I'm going to end it today because uh, I've got 10 minutes until 10 and I need to go to work soon uh, to keep my car. <laughs> I need to pay my car payment today. That's due. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'm going to definitely be watching that video tomorrow because that, that, that looks like a lot of uh, a lot of cringe. Um, I do recommend DJ Mule as a content creator, like, he, like, made a solid video about Xanderhol with receipts, so unless someone has something to show me, uh, which proves that DJ Mule is a, is an abusive person, other than, um, other than... This guy's response... Other than People reading so their pin, pinned, rather than reading their pinned tweet in a funny voice. What, they're extremely online figureheads believe that they simply can't help themselves from coming to this video driving up engagement. Honestly, debate merge, thanks for getting me almost this kicks so, up. Eh. So I'm going to pin this. Uh, since there's so many people proving my exact points in the video. Blah, 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 blah. That, that yeah, being me said, too. I will address some criticisms that people have mentioned. Because A, they are blatantly long, wall, And B, I think it's fair to people who have no idea what's going on in the comment section. Or why have so many dislikes and negative comments on the videos. For the He just essay posts at you. He literally can't stop essay posting at you. I have a new rule. If you... Too much. Too long don't read. I don't know. Let me have a look. Oh look! Oh look at that! Oh look at that! I I post the links to the videos that I watch. Oh, oh look at that! <laughs> oh look, look at that! This for for ease of use to people. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
LSH, um, LSH, uh, oh wait, TSH, um, Little Fox. TSH Little Fox, yes. Um, oh wow, look at all of those, uh, links to everything that he did. <laughs> I really fucking love the, uh, more than 50% of all the views. Like, like, why can't you just, like, um, skim read this stuff and, and go through it? Like, then, the time was one of the, and, I mean, I would have done it that this one it hasn't actually responded to this. It's really interesting that uh, he needed all his big mates to do it for him, but simply can't defend his ideas even reacting to a video essay. Weird, let me know if he actually does a video on this because it would be the only one I'm actually interested in seeing. Cool. I like how we all ignored Bad Bunny talking about the have the thought of touching a black, black bisexual man would make her throw up in her mouth. Oh, you mean that thing that she's uh, she's addressed and continually apologized about? That being said, like if you 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 have no obligation to forgive anyone for being a racist piece of shit. If you want to hate Kira Chats for the things she used to say and do, then fucking that's valid as fuck. And I avow you should not be... The... If you are a minority that are affected by someone's negative actions, uh, you never have to forgive them. If I say something that pisses you off, uh, you never have to forgive me, no matter how many times I apologize. And if I say something that has really upset you in the past, and if you come into my chat and uh, tell me that you're upset and that you pissed off at me and you want to uh, troll me or like harass me or anything, that is fine and cool because I uh, deserve that. I can take care of myself. That is the kind of community that I want to uh, create. I want to create a community that has space to criticize a parasocial streamer and that people are trying not to create like just a cult. <sighs> Abuse apologia in this video to account. Horribly misrepresented and one-sided the recap of the Xander Lanny thing is. See, like, I have seen uh, people responding to this Xander Lanny bullcrap, um, and nobody has once actually shown the other side in an effective light, whereas uh, DJ Mule throughout this video has completely, like, shown, backed up everything with um, with uh, facts. I do remember there was one, a couple of things that... Um, uh, Kira, yeah, Kira said some awful shit back in the past. Oh yeah, yeah, but that's but that's why I don't call her Bad Bunny anymore because that's not who she is. Um, like she literally does IRL praxis, as far as I know. That's why I want to learn more about her so I can like have an actual handle on who on who she is when I'm talking about her because it's like there's two different people that people are talking about. You know what I mean? <sighs> Apologizing for abuse for over an hour straight. Victim of abuse. Uh, Xander Hall was uh, not a victim of abuse. Um, yeah. Amazing. Look at all the hate hate comments on this thing. Same. She right to be an abuser. Uh I I really want the receipts for this. Why are they calling him an abuser? Like the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. So it is an abuse sympathizer. Like, no, people are actually calling DJ Mule an abuser. So I wanna know where that came from. <sighs> Deceptive editing abuse apology death jock. What the fuck is that? 
Peace. Yeah, Demon Mama has started out. So they, they all hate uh, Demon Ma De uh, Bad Bunny, but Demon Mama is just fucking dumb. Um, I really want to know because this, yeah, this is, yeah, I, I honestly, this is the no you response. That's all I can get from this. Um, Amber Heard site. I think this basically says it all. This is this is the Reddit, the Vorsch subreddit. Oh yeah, of course DJ Mule is on the Amber Heard side. I mean, yeah, of course. Like, yeah, why would you not be? <sighs> yeah. They dislike him because he attacked their they attack they attack Coach Vorsch friend. Yes. Yes. Don't go on to the uh vo the the Vorsch thing. Oh here we go. An abuser in leftist clothing. Alright, alright. Have we got anything? Have we got it? Oh no! Wait, this is the video. Oh wait, this is the video I, I reacted to that uh, didn't have anything. So like, this is the guy. He he said that is uh, that uh, DJ Mule is an abuser, but doesn't actually back it up. Yeah, where's the uh, where is the uh... fuck is that? CHNO anarchists. Techno anarchists? What the fuck is that? This is so weird. Internet drama is fascinating. I want to go into Walsh's fan's mind to see what kind of uh, mental gymnastics goes on. Um, no, I understand why they. I, I understand why they think the way that they do. Um, which one? The, um, the, the DJ Mules one or the Hack E4 one? Oh, no, wait. This is a different one. This is a different one? Wait a minute. Does this have DJ Mule Ecofish? I thought this was... No, no, it's not. What? Oh, my gosh. This is four hours long. That's why I didn't watch it. By that time, by the time of that clip. Uh, do they have chapters? No, they don't. Fuck. Oh, chapters, 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 chapters. No. Do do. Wolf and sheep's clothing. Clothing. Wow, you stop seeing a fascist. Um. Yeah, but like again, like fucking hell! I bet that it, I bet I'm going to he assume that there's nothing in here. He was already on the left. So, and and don't get me wrong, I I don't like Destiny. I'm not the biggest fan. Uh uh. Uh, uh, Destiny isn't. Back. D isn't Destiny isn't on the left. What? Okay. Wait, what there are chapters. Oh, start, middle, what? and end. You don't even live in America. Of course, it doesn't fucking matter to you. Psychology. And who even who even gives a shit? What? what? I just thought, even if it. Does this person? Hey, Samantha. What? Hey. Some weird fucking Freudian shit. Who gives a shit? Who cares? Orange man's still bad. It's still good to vote him out. What? What? what, what, what? You don't even live in America. Of course, it doesn't fucking matter to you.
Americans when they don't understand why the rest of the world doesn't care who their president is. Of course that it's... Of course they're the same to you. You don't even live here. Earlier he said. It doesn't matter. Oh, pe uh, um, Jojo, uh, to people outside of America, it doesn't matter whether you've got Joe Biden or Trump. Like, uh, the bombings still increase every year. Doesn't fucking matter. That Biden winning was a good thing. But now, it's a bad thing. Do you have any consistency at all? Like, at all? What are we talking about here? Earlier he said... It's, 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 okay. Good thing. Wait a second. Biden. Um, the US has slipped further into fascism. Roe v. Wade has been overturned. Attacks on LGBT. Biden. Um, Let's uh, take a look at what happened. Continue to ravage the US on chat. Uh -huh. Let's uh, take a look at what happened under Biden. It's kind of worldview. You know, it's the I'm all right Jack mentality. Xander Hall then goes on to talk about all the bad things that are going to happen if Trump gets re-elected. Um, such as... The US will slip further into All right. That Trump Hold gets on. beat in the election. To Xander Hall, this is a one Trump's fault. Which is true as far as his power... People this... Okay, I don't feel okay. very cared for. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be one honey with you. I do not feel very loved right now. So the question here is this. If Xanderhal loves Bernie so much, why is he so willing to claim that the majority of people who support Bernie don't care about marginalized people's rights? So my theory is this. As we said before, when Xanderhal said he lost a lot of faith in America after Trump was elected, he sees that as the catalyst for him going down the pipeline. So for him, beating Trump is paramount in that election because he sees his radicalization as Trump's fault. Which is true as far as we can tell, Steve Bannon, who I've talked about on the channel before, was a bigwig on Trump's campaign and literally wanted to radicalize gamers to the far right. However, what seems to be more important to Zan than the nuance that Bernie or Busters have a point or that even Bernie or Busters do care. Okay, so this conversation was about um the like that whole stupid discourse around like Bernie bros being misogynistic and like something and turning into Trump voters, which was um, absolutely turned out to be false. About marginalized people is that Trump gets beat in the election. To Xander Hall, this is a cathartic thing that he needs, and to be fair, it actually was for a lot of Americans and people around the world, especially people in a similar position to Xander Hall who got radicalized by alt right beliefs and then realized that they've been taken for a ride. It's kind of like revenge for them, if you will. See, now, what happens with revenge is that you become a bit blinkered and you lose sight of the bigger picture. Neoliberals are actually primed for this kind of worldview. You know, it's the I'm all right Jack mentality. Xander Hall then goes on to talk about all the bad things that are going to happen if Trump gets re elected, and such as the US will slip further into fascism, Roe v. Wade will get overturned, the attacks on LGBTQIA plus people will increase and continue. He also focuses on COVID 19, saying that it will continue to ravage to the US unchecked. Let's uh, take a look at what happened under Biden. Um, the US has slipped further into fascism. Roe v. Wade has been overturned. Attacks on LGBTQIA plus people have increased and continued. COVID-19 is still ravaging the US unchecked. True? I don't know if this is like... So let's see how he responds to the Bernie bro stuff and the fact that it doesn't really matter who the president is in America. Some sort of projection. At the very least, it's some fucking weird ass armchair psychology. But maybe, just maybe, it's just a good thing if Orange Koo Man didn't win. Maybe. maybe. It's just as simple as Orange Man bad. Ever think of that one? I know, crazy, right? Crazy. What a thought. Maybe it's just Orange Man bad instead of this weird mental gymnastic armchair psychology. What are you talking about, armchair psychology? What are you talking about? What, and who, what? who even gives a shit? What, what, I just thought, even if it was some weird fucking Freudian shit, who gives a shit? Who cares? Freudian what? Freudian what? Orange Man's still bad. His response to that is orange man still bad. Like this guy is the biggest fucking dumbass lib. And why has he got hashtag debate or video essay? This isn't a video essay. Essay. This is this is a guy just like doing shit worse than I do. I did this shit live, what, dude. What, 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 what? You don't even. Live I do this shit live and I do it better than you. What the fuck? In America. Of course it doesn't fucking matter to you. Of course that it's. Of course they're the same to you. You don't even live here. Earlier he said. This is just this is just that Amerocentric lib shit. Holy fuck. Biden. Winning was a good thing. But now it's a bad thing. No. The whole argument was uh, was talking about like DJ I remember that section. DJ Mule was talking about fucking about the um the Xander Hall's hatred against uh, p hatred for people who voted for Bernie. 
Sanders, as if voting for Bernie Sanders uh, or like supporting Bernie San- Sanders was somehow like splitting the vote and like a bad thing. Like, go back and watch Xander Hole's content when it comes to Bernie Bros, uh, which was a whole made up fucking thing. Like, but your response to DJ Mule responding by saying like it didn't fucking matter in the end was Orange Man Bad. You're like falling straight. You not only are you falling into like the leftist um, meme of like l- l- fucking big brain centrist liberal. You're also falling into the dumbass um, right wing meme of uh, Orange Man Bad at the same time. This is three and a half hours. You've done no editing, and it's not even live. Do you have any consistency at all? Like at all? Or do you just yeah, like, st- like that? Like if if you dis if you don't understand what someone's talking about, then yeah, like obviously it looks inconsistent. I mean, if you don't understand uh, nuclear physics, then obviously it's going to look like gibberish to you. It's just beyond you, dude. Say whatever pushes your narrative. What do you just say? What, what narrative? But you don't even you've admitted that you don't even understand the narrative behind uh, what JJ Miller was saying. So like, what what narrative are you talking about? Please. Elaborate. Whatever. To manipulate your audience. It's kind of weird, isn't it? So, here's a list of reasons why this guy is a fucking moron. First of all, the Republican Party has switched further into fascism, not the United States, so probably a good thing they didn't get the Oval Office. Funny how that works. Works. Second of all, Roe v. Wade was overturned because of the Supreme Court decision because Trump appointed three judges. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, it still got overturned, dude. Who's carrying out these LGBTQIA attacks, by the way? Is it Democrats or is it Republicans? Oh, Republicans. Huh, interesting. Good thing we didn't give them the federal government, even though every single Republican platform... So, like, you're just agreeing with him, then. You're just making excuses for the fact that the Democrats Democrats have done fuck all to protect anyone of these things. Whose fault do you think it was that Trump was able to fucking put three judges in office? I'll tell you, two of those judges, like one of them, um, was was fucking like was one of them was the result of the Democrats not having the balls under Obama to um, force through one of the judge um, one of the judge submissions after the Republicans attempting to uh, to uh, uh, block the vote um, and the Democrats continued refusal to uh, get rid of the filibuster and the second one was someone who was obviously going to die in the next few years who should have stepped down let's that's two people. Two, I'm not even in your fucking country and I knew that. What the fuck, dude? Oh my gosh, this is not even worth watching the rest of. This is the- this is, uh, one of the most- most watched sections of the video. Oh, this is the most replayed video. I- I thought that the most replayed bit would- would calling him- would be him calling out the actual abuse and not talking dumbass lip shit. Oh, okay, so this is, this is, uh, this is, this is just making fun of the fact that DJ Mule, uh, didn't want to read that. Oh, here we go. Wait, what? Actually, one of the major points of me making anti-debate content was to draw fire away from more marginalized people who don't have the energy to weather it. So this is phenomenal news, actually. Hope they keep molding at me and leave trans people of color alone. Um, how is that infantilizing trans people or people of color? Uh, looking the count, not for any other fe- reason than I fear these nerds might har- harass people I'm replying to. I will never turn off the comments on the video because it's good evidence that I'm right about these fuckers. They are no better than conservatives. How is that infanti- infantilizing minorities, dude? 
You, you, you're just putting words on the screen and not making any argument for it. That's crazy. I'm gonna have to pee so much later. Oh, wait, what's wrong with con random commentaries? Yeah. You're just making me like DJ Mule more. Uh, silly man, what about the pages of slurs that your friend is credited with? Just keep going, to get, just going to leave that out? No, I literally mention it, you nerd. LMAO. Uh, yeah, okay. Bad Bunny probably has a kink for it and was suppressing it. Why don't you ask your friend Vorsh and Destiny if they ever said the N-word? Okay. Uh, I think the algorithm focuses on drama isn't because of the Twitch streamers, it's the other way around. I think that framing this as a binary issue would be wholly disingenuous. I definitely think it's a bit of both at the least. You're trying to paint DJ Mule in a in some kind of light by bringing up random comments like the uh, yeah. This chain the the charge was a meth possession charge. You realize how bad this makes your video look. You went out of your way to portray Zan as a liar, and all you needed was a quick search. Yes, that's what it was. Um, yeah. Um, DJ Mule fucked up about the meth allegations, but that doesn't really matter in the long run because who the, who the fuck gives a fuck? Um, because she had a uh, meth charge doesn't mean she was an addict or anything like that. Um, I haven't seen a single video of his, and I'm fully on board with him after watching this. Your hit piece is so bad that you made me like the guy that I previously didn't care for. Yeah, fine, thanks you. Yeah, he's trolling. He's trolling the fucking libs and dumbass fash. Uh, sheer amount of dishonesty in this video is insane. Yes, Sander Holshaw does lie a lot. Lol. Um, I like how you say Zan can't be a lefty because his thumbnails are a bit dramatic at times. Uh, I mean, when your entire channel is about drama and lefty and funny, yeah, that's why my entire channel is about, with my two videos about it. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. One conversation with Destiny um, would end you honestly, even Vosh. Damn, keep praying then, Lamal. Like, I'm just reading out these comments. This is what I love about people who just post post shit on screen, is pausing and actually reading what they're posting on screen, um, because they have absolutely no argument. There's, there's just no argument. I love it. Alright, the code associated with codes for meth is, uh, the code for DMT is uh, actually 1137. Yeah, DJ Mule was wrong. Uh, all of the relevant videos are in the description. 99% of the clips, tweets, evidences, references, except when you want to show the context for those you want to defend. Plenty of sections from Lani's side, uh, but you just talked over almost every single clip of Dizan telling us what he supposedly said and not letting us hear it from him. All of the relevant div videos are in the description, my dude, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you yeah, sure campaigning for Democrats and doing a charity stream is uh, activism, Lamau. Yeah. Yeah. I Again, to the rest of the world, who gives a fuck which president you have? You're still, like, increasing the bombings every year and treating people worse and worse. Um, there has been more border wall built under Biden since he's been, in, since he's been president than there was in the entire time that Trump was. Tell me again how it fucking matters. I love this. So, 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 uh, DJ Mule is bad because he responds to comments, apparently. Weird. Hey, Chagmara! But yeah, I said I was gonna end, like, 20 minutes ago, and I got, got, oh, fucking 15 minutes in, 30 minutes ago, almost, and I was sucked into this bullshit. This is absolutely hilarious. His, his, so, so, DJ Mule is an abuser, apparently, because he... Um, doesn't agree with Xander Hall about politics and because he responds to uh, comments. Cool. Well, that makes no sense. Anyway, that's all I have time for today. Um, so until tomorrow, um, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself and take care of someone else. And uh, yeah, just just...
Yeah. <laughs> Love you all. Bye for now. Bye bye.